hey, the person that got your phone, he's in the in use of the facilities right now. So I'll be right back, all right? I'll wait for him to come up, all right? Mm -hmm. Thank you.
Hey, hey, he's almost done. I thought he, he forgot to do one more, one more thing. I think he'll do one more thing, but since we're waiting, I just want to go over a couple more things that we talked about yesterday. Remember yesterday, you know, we talked a lot about the, about that stuff, okay? So, before we get started, we're going to record this, okay? Mm -hmm. So, today's day is the September 21st, 2015, time is 3.23 p.m. We'll get out of the Sheriff's Office, Osceola County. Detective Joel Guevara, Detective Brett Roller, and can you please state your full name, Amy, please? Amy Grace Day. Okay. Um, again, thank you so much for waiting for us for the, for the phone thing. Um, we're, uh, as you can see, we're conducting a full full-blown investigation because we don't know what happened so we just want to cover every angle and make sure that we got all the steps covered okay and um, and and due to that I just gonna read some stuff to you some formalities okay just again just it's a full-blown investigation so um, I just want to get this out of the way okay um, you have the right to remain silent you understand that yes okay if you need to speak up since you're recording, okay? Yes. Anything you say may be used against you in court law, you understand? Yes. Okay. And so you're entitled to talk to a lawyer before and during questioning. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. If you cannot afford a lawyer and want one, one will be provided before and during questioning without charge. You understand that? Yes. Okay. Amy, will you be so kind? This is the, the part that I read to you. Print your name here. Or should I just redo it? What do you put? I see. I'm not used to writing grace, so. Okay, that's fine. Okay, here's um, initial here. These are the stuff that I read to you. You said that you understood. And then I need for you to sign down here saying that you understand. Now I'm going to sign this here myself. Then since this is the only part that we are that we are using, I'm going to cross out the rest of it. Okay. All right. You just want to go over real quick just the highlights of your routine on, on the weekend. Um, you, you you stated. Let's start with Friday. Let's go back one day. I know we started on um, the other days on Saturday, starting back on Friday. Friday was your routine that day? Um, I was packing, I was um, getting clothes ready for Goodwill. Mom and I both were. Um, okay. We were um, kind of just laughing and joking. Mm -hmm. and, um, Pack the pantry with stuff that I eat that she doesn't because she's a vegetarian. Um, going over just you know different things. I mean, it was just a, a normal day. Just a normal day. Yeah. Does your mom has like a regular routine? Like she does the same thing every day, or no. like the same routine, or just no, 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 different things, different days. I mean, you know, she goes to Walmart different days. She goes to Wendy's different days. She goes. The only thing that's routine is um, in the morning time, she walks every morning um, on the back porch, mm -hmm. um, takes her grandson to school, uh, will take lunch to him at lunchtime, um, and then sometimes she'll go down there and then it's empty. But morning, the, the morning walk, taking him to school, and sometimes going and taking him lunch, I mean, taking lunch out to him. That's pretty much the routine. Okay. Now, um, normally she will, um, but it's different days. But after she could goes takes Morgan drives to school and on her way back, she may stop at Walmart. But I mean, she tells me, but it's on different days. Gotcha. So you know. Sorry about that. Okay. And then okay, and then 
Friday, was that the day that you already had planned to go out of town with, with your boy, with your boyfriend, um, Carrie, or when, when, when did that those plans came up? That didn't come up until Saturday. Saturday? Yeah. Okay. And who reached out to you? you could the Carrie reach out to you or you reach out to Carrie? He those called plans? me. I missed his call. I called back. He, I, he, didn't miss, he missed my call, um, called back. And then I called him back. I mean, we just went back and forth. Now, around what time those those calls started? Um, I think the first one was like at 7.50, 8 o'clock in the morning because he gets up early. Okay. And then that's the reason I missed his call because I didn't hear my phone ring. Um, when I called back, I don't know what he was doing, but he didn't answer the phone. Then when he called me back, um, we talked for a little bit, and then I called him back. And that's when, um, after that, we were like, well, you know, what are you doing? What are you doing? And we wanted to, we kind of decided what we were trying to see if we had anything, if anything was going on. I asked Mom if she had anything going on, if she needed me for anything. And she said, no, she was going to be going to church, you know. And I said, okay, I called back and I said, no, I don't have anything. And he goes, okay. I'll come meet you. I said, okay. And then um, on Saturday, your mom went out the whole day? No. Did she step out of the house? No, she cleaned on Saturday. Okay. So she never got in the car, left, or anything like that? Went outside or well, she went, went outside out, to... She went outside when Morgan and Mark came down to mow the grass. Oh, okay. All right. But, I mean, other than that, she was inside cleaning. And she went outside, out back, you know, for a little bit and read the Bible. She does that. Um, uh, the only uh, in the other routine she has is every day between one thirty and two during the week she does talk to her sister Joy, and then my sister calls her on her way home between four and five, whichever whatever time my sister gets off work, until my sister gets home. That is during the week. Those are two things that my mother does. That those part of her routine. But um, on Saturday, I'm I didn't go outside, but I. You no, know, Mark was there only because he's the one who runs big uh, zero turn. Um, I'm Morgan. I'm sure was there. Um, she went out. They mowed and left. She came in. She continued cleaning. You went out other than leaving with Carrie. You went out. Don't when the day I, that you stepped out of the house like, to go somewhere, run some errands, anything like that. No, when I stepped out, it was at five o'clock on Saturday. And that was to that's when you with left Carrie. Yeah. With Carrie. Yeah. The only other time I was outside was when I, I go out back to smoke because my mother's lord smoke. But I always go out back. And when Carrie got to the house, did he went inside the house or no. would he remain outside? Yeah, he just stayed outside. I, I went outside and got in his car, but that's not unusual. Oh, okay. All right. Just like when he dropped me off, I got out of the car and, you know, went inside and or went through the gate and went through the back door, but that's not unusual either, so. How long does it take to get up there by the Gainesville area where he lives? I forgot the name. Ch Chiefland or Chiefland. Um, without traffic, two hours. About two hours. Yeah, with traffic, two hours, fifteen minutes, two hours, thirty minutes, depending. And that's how I take the turn by seventy-five. Turn seventy-five to alternate twenty-seven. And that's the route that you guys took, right? Mm -hmm. So the route we went. And the same route there. you guys took back mm -hmm. on Sunday. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, on Sunday, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I'm losing track of days. Okay, it's okay. So um, let's go back to Saturday evening or Saturday night. Mm -hmm. When was the last time you heard from your mom? Um, between 8.20, 8.25. That's when you received that phone call, which mm -hmm. was a little bit, um, you said she was crying. She wasn't bawling. She was just kind of a... It, more of a, it was like a whimper, you know, type, you know, and, you know, she told me, when she told me she loved me, um, and that she would call me as soon as she got a chance. I took it as if she, you know, she was going to miss me or, you know, I mean, I didn't read too much into it. I may mean, should have, but I didn't. You know, my mind was probably five, you know, somewhere else, but I, just, I, I didn't read much into it. My mom, when she says she loves you, you know, sometimes she cries. When she leaves to go to North Carolina, before she leaves, she tells you she loves you, she'll cry. So, I mean, I didn't really read that much into it. 
during that phone call, did she give you a timeline when she was supposed to be back or how long she was going to be gone? She didn't really give me a timeline. Um, my understanding is she gave my sister a timeline. And then after you finished the phone call with your mom, did you and your sister talk? Did yeah, my sister called me. Apparently, after she went down to mom's house, banged on the door, she didn't answer. Judy called me, asked me if I had heard from mom. I told her yes. She asked me what she said, and I told her. And Judy told me she told her the same thing, and that, but that she had said she was going to be gone for six months, and that there was no way that mom would miss Christmas with her grandson. And I said, if you, you know, hear anything, call me. And I started sending my sister texts, you know, if you hear something, call me, you know, anything happens, and all she would respond with was with the letter K. You know, I told her, you know. No, it's Judy, right? Yeah. Judy. I sent her a text saying, you know, I'll be back on Sunday. And she responded with, okay. Or she responded with K. But, I, you know, I was sending texts. I think the last text I sent her may have been after 10 o'clock. So how far, like how many minutes, just approximately, that's not to be exactly, and it's kind of hard to go back and quote, except minute, how, how, like how many Between minutes the, after the phone call, you with had with mom, your mom and ended, and then when you received a phone call from Judy? 15, 20 minutes, maybe. Okay. And how many phone calls, how many times you actually, you guys had a, actually a conversation on the phone? Me after? and Judy? Yeah. Um, that night? That night? Yeah. One. And then the rest of the communication was text. via text? Mm -hmm. Okay. From your phone, between your phone and her phone? Mm -hmm. Okay. And your phone, you're the only person that uses that phone, right? Nobody else uses that phone? Not that, I mean, I have to let other people use it, but majority of the time I'm the only one that uses it. Okay. I mean, you know, my mom's used it. Okay. When was the last text that you sent to Judy and you received from Judy on Saturday, Saturday night? I want to say, the, I, I don't remember exactly, but I want to say it was probably at 10, okay. maybe a little after. And the last text you received from Judy, what was it, like, okay, or what was what, what, what that? The letter K. The letter K. That's all I ever got back from her was K. Okay. Let's move forward to um, Sunday. Um, did you hear from Judy, or did you contact Judy, or? I contacted Judy, told her I was on the way back. Around what time was that? Um, nine. I, get, I, I believe about nine. She told me to call her and let her know when I was um, 15 minutes out. Okay. I said, okay. Um, I got there uh, and I called her. And around what time? Around what time was that? That you got to eleven. And that's the the house, right? You said. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, around what time you guys left? Um, Chief Chief Chiefland. Yeah, about around, nine. About nine. Yeah, look, maybe a little before. Okay. Did you guys stop anywhere else? Mm -hmm. And you came back with Carrie, right? Mm -hmm. And his car and his black Mustang. Mm -hmm. Okay. And when I got to the house, um, I knew I had to meet Tasha, so I just. Brand met her on my way back. I called Judy, let her know that I was, you know, a few minutes out, got there, and then opened the door, and Judy was in the driveway. Okay. And she came in the house. And you were driving? Mom's car. Okay. What kind of car is that again? It's a silver Toyota Corolla. Okay. So you met uh, your friend Tasha. Mm -hmm. I know we talk about this one time about some cigarettes, right? Mm -hmm. You were swapping out some cigarettes? Yeah, she gave me menthol my mistake. Okay. So. And you said, where was it? Where you it guys was at Westgate. Okay. And it took me maybe 10 minutes to get back to the house. Okay. So from the time you left to go meet Tasha, mm -hmm. you met Tasha and you came back, it was about 10 minutes, you said? Well, I, I left about 11, got there, met her, and Maybe I got to the house maybe it was at 11, 15, um, 11, 30. I don't remember exactly what time because I didn't look at a watch, but between 11, 15 and 11, 30. And I called Judy. Okay. And then when I opened the door, she was there and she came in. Right. You stop anywhere else? No. You want to stay home? Okay. So when you got to the house, 
Your sister Judy was in the driveway? No, she got there right after I did. Okay. But it only takes her two, three minutes to get from her house down to the house. So he's about the same same area where your dad lives, right? Right next door. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's very close. Um, so you get to the house, Judy gets to the house, keep going. And we went in, we looked around. Um, nothing seemed out of place other than the fact that mom's stuff, clothes, yeah, you know, that, that type of stuff was gone. But I mean, kitchen, living room, um, her desk. TV room, the you know where the computers at. Everything was the back porch. Everything was normal. I mean, there was nothing out of place. There was no book out of place. There was nothing in her room that seemed out of place except for her stuff on. Gotcha. Any anything else in the rest of the house? Like any on your room or the other the. That back room that's across from your room, that's what I like the... Like that's the my room. mom's TV room. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anything out of the out ordinary in no. those rooms? No. Everything seemed normal. Except her, I mean, her jackets were gone, but other than that, there wasn't anything out of the closet. It was missing. I mean, there's a huge coin collection in there that was still there, but that's Morgan's. And but, I mean, that was there, but other than her jackets, that was it. Um, nothing in my room. Looked deserved. I mean, there was nothing missing. And of course, I mean, I'm, you know, I've got that huge TV sitting in there mm -hmm. and all that other stuff, but none of that was missing. Gotcha. And when you got there, when and then arrived, and Judy got there with you, the house was completely locked up, right? There's secure, nothing tampered with no windows, no damage to anything. Everything was normal. Yeah. Gotcha. You guys got an alarm at the house or no? An alarm? No. No. There's a thing there, but it's not connected. It's not connected. No. Okay. She had it turned off, I don't know how many, over 10 years ago. But no. Um, she keeps that sign there because it deters people. But um, no, there was, the house was, the, the screen door that's on the front door, mm -hmm. the only way to, um, it, it, it only locks from the inside. Mm -hmm. So it was locked. So I had to go to the gate and through the back door. But that is not unusual. I mean, the only other, the only time that's unlocked is if, you know, I, I mom is leaving and she unlocks it for me, and knowing that you know, which now that I think about it, going to church she would have un she should have unlocked it because knowing that I was coming back, because um, she was gonna stop at Hungry Howie's for us after after church because we always get something after church for lunch, whether it be Subway, Hungry Howie's, or you know, but whatever. Um, but it was locked, so that's the reason I went around to the back. But back door was locked. The door that leads from the house into the garage was locked. The door that leads from the, it's that white door that goes from the garage out to the back where the recycling bin, mm -hmm. it was locked. The garage door was shut. You know, the front door was locked. Everything was locked. And all the windows were shut. I mean, I didn't check if they were locked, but they were all shut. So while you guys were over there and you guys are noticing the, that there's just a couple of your mom's stuff, your mom's stuff are missing and they're not there, that's the only thing out of, out of place. Yeah. What kind of conversation you and Judy, Judy were having? Who was, do you guys both decide to contact the sheriff's office and, and report this or who, who, made my, who made that decision? Me and Judy were talking about it, my Aunt Joy, and uh, we all agreed that it was odd and you know, it was, we started going through her address book trying to find, you know, trying to contact people, trying to find this Rose, trying to find anybody who knew Rose. Um, I remembered the church book from with the pictures and phone numbers and stuff like that. I went and grabbed it and to see if we could find her and um, that's how we got, we had Brute's home phone number but that's how we got the pastor's number and the treasurer's number and Judy knew some people she went to school with and so she took it to make phone calls. Um, Joy said that we needed to contact the sheriff's department. We kind of agreed on that and Judy told me that she was going to make some phone calls and she was going to let me know. Yeah. And then the next thing I know, she's in the house with deputy. Did, she, did, that, did that 
Did she, she do that at the house, or she left back to her own? She left and went back to her own house. I was I asked her to stay until Joy called because I wanted to hear you know my, with my the three way so that way the three of us could discuss yeah. it. But she said that she was on her way back from Pigeon Forge and she hadn't called and so. And I was like, well, I have Doyle's phone number, his cell phone number. Mm -hmm. And she goes, no, we'll just wait till she gets back to the house. But, I mean, I was I was wanting to hear what, you know, the three of us have a conversation. Gotcha. Just to make a, that way know, every, a family, everybody, yeah, everybody can make that decision. A gotcha. family decision. Yeah. Um, but she left and she said she wanted to make some phone calls. And I said, okay. I said, let me know. And then she, I mean, she didn't call me. Next thing I knew, she was there at the house with the deputy. She never called me. She said she was coming. She never said she called y'all guys. Nothing. She just showed up. Um, I just want to just put pause there for a minute. I want to go back to, to the night before. When you received the phone call from mm -hmm. your mother saying that she's going to go with Rose, mm -hmm. did she discuss with you how she was going to go in a car? By train, by plane, she said by Rose, bus, and She said like Rose that. was coming to pick her up. Gotcha. That was it. Do you know? Um, do you guys check? Um, do you guys? Do you got? Do you have access to her bank account that you're able to confirm she she bought a ticket or somewhere or anything like that? I have access to her bank account. Oh yeah. Yeah. Where she banks at? Uh, she banks at Central Florida Educators. She has access to my bank. I have access to her bank. So. Okay. Um, I, I know we discussed um, yesterday or this morning. Uh, about your job op opportunity up in um, Ohio, mm -hmm. that's a part of you. Um, and I know you mentioned something that the, the gentleman that you're going to be working for, he'll be trying you out from here. So you being like working for him from here, or what? How, how do you get your income? How you know you have to pay whatever part you rent out? What whenever, kind of work you do? Whenever there's somebody that needs that's here, he'll call me. So it's right now it's an ad need basis. Okay. Um, when I go to Leave to go to Hawaii or Hawaii um, to Ohio, which is supposed to be on Friday. Um, then it would be at the headquarters, so it, I would be working on a full time basis then. Okay, so pretty much is uh, when you get to Ohio, is that one of the things that you have to go into the office or you, you'll mm -hmm. be able to work from home? No, we'd be in the office, be in the office. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you guys never took um, that step to kind of like go over her bank account, see if there's been any kind of like purchase a ticket or or any kind of purchase, anything like that. That, that your mom bought a ticket somewhere, you know, like a airplane ticket, Amtrak, Greyhound, you know, to travel over there or or you know help Rose out, you know, by pu putting gas in, you know, gas no, in the car, anything like that. The only ticket that she bought was she bought my ticket for me to Ohio. Okay. But I mean, other than that, she not that I'm aware of. And when you pay the bills, like you know, you give the you, you give the the, the 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 payment to your mom, or mm -hmm. do you pass it to her account? How, how how you guys work? How you guys work that out? I give my mom the money. Okay, gotcha. Right. Any anything anybody that you guys um, might think that that she had ever kind of trusted outside of the family. Like a specific church member or anything like that? The only person she trusted outside the family was Marie and Harry. Okay. And they are? Um, their last name starts with the P. That's that house I showed you, the blue house on, okay. that, yes. on Old mm -hmm. Creek. That's mm -hmm. Marie and Harry. Okay. Um, she trusted them implicitly. Um, she worked with them at Mercury. Okay. Um, the only thing that I, and I didn't get a chance to tell you because I kind of went past me. The neighbor that is um, not directly across over here, the one with the green car, the lady with her son. Okay, if I'm facing your house, right? Okay, no. And, and, and if, I'm, well, if I'm facing your house and, uh, and I'm doing it like an about face. Okay, and now. Now, now I got your house to my back. Okay. Okay. The house. The this, house, like right here? Yes. So if we're looking at a clock, 12 o'clock will be here. Mm -hmm. It'll be like about 11, 10 o'clock? Right. Okay. She has the fence, two dogs. She has a green car, a son who drives okay. a truck. Okay. Um, she asked me something last night, but they, you know they told her that she needed to go. She couldn't talk to me. Um, she wanted, She asked me, and it didn't really register, but I mean, she asked me if I knew the woman who came to visit mom, which I don't. I mean, I, I, I don't know who she's talking about. 
Do you know her name? The lady across the street, do you know her name? I don't really know our neighbors. Okay. Yeah, another question I forgot to ask you is, I know you mentioned something about the next door neighbor. That I don't know. The one that's the, the give you the Ouija V. I don't the know. The Ouija V's. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit more about that neighbor? Why? What does he make you feel? Oh, is he a he or she? He. Okay. What does he make you feel like that? I don't know. It's just. I guess it, it's a gut feeling. There's just there's just something about him that just doesn't sit right with me. He just uh, you know it it it's like um. A couple of times, I mean, I actually started going inside if he came out. There was a couple of times that, like, the woman's dad came over, and he, I was sitting on the back porch, and I don't, I don't keep a light on the back porch, so that way you can't see me when I'm out there smoking. But, um, I keep a flashlight with me. But he left out the back door, and their backyard kind of has a, a berm in the back. Mm -hmm. He went to the very back, crouched down, and always I can see this because there's planks missing from the hurricane that they never replaced. Crouched down and I could see his uh, a light from his cigarette. And he stayed there the entire time her dad was there. And that just was like really odd. And from there it was like, okay, that just doesn't seem, you know. So I kind of just, mom and I just stay away from it, you know. And when he was outside, I would go inside, and Mom would do the same thing because even she got the heebie-jeebies from him. Was he? Well, he said hi to you guys, like morning, wave. No, nope, didn't anything? speak. No, he no. never. I mean, we never. He never spoke to us. We never spoke to him. We never waved. We never even acknowledged. Uh, how old is this gentleman next door? He's um, approximate. Twenties, like you know, late twenties, maybe thirty. I I would say like twenties. I haven't gotten. A, I don't know what he looks like close up. But from a distance, I would say mid to late twenties. Gotcha. I, I I don't know. I'm not very good at estimating age. Okay. Hey, um, just one more question. I just, just when Terry dropped you off, Carrie, Carrie, Carrie dropped you off. Did he went inside, or he just dropped yeah. you off in the front? He just dropped me off. And he left. Yeah, it, that's not unusual either. Okay. Any any additional questions? Um, you said your mom paid for your Ohio ticket. Mm -hmm. When was that purchased? Um, Saturday. This Saturday? Mm -hmm. Do you know what time that, did you actually find them in, on the computer or something? Uh, yeah, I went to um, uh, Spirit. I in she. I got all the stuff in there and she put the card number in and... Okay. And, um... Do you know what time of day this was? Was it during the daylight hours? Yeah, it was daylight. Okay. Because Saturday is the day you left to go to... It was before I left. Yeah, okay. So it was before 5. Okay. And it was with Spirit Airlines? Yes. Did you get your confirmation in an email or something like that? I did, and I gave it to one of the officers. It's flight 4060. I leave at um, 10.50 in the morning. Okay. And when's that? On Friday. On Friday. Um, and you said that you know a lot about your, your mom's financials. I guess you try to help her. She's an older woman. Um, does she have multiple accounts? Does she have multiple credit cards? Do you know what kind of uh, to my financial credit she has? To my knowledge, she has a GM card, and that's because she has one, and I also she has me also on it. Mm -hmm. um, she has an Up Promise card, which we both have. She has one, and I that I have one of my. What's a Promise card? It, I've never it, heard of that. It's called Up Promise. It's just like a Visa or MasterCard. Okay, it's a credit uh, card. Yeah. Okay. Um, she has one, and I have. She has one with my name on it. Um, we share pin numbers, and uh, same with the GM uh, card. Um, and then she has her CFE um, Platinum credit card okay. through the bank. Um, her ATM card. Okay. Um, and I think that's it. And what did she use to buy your plane ticket? Uh, her CFE Platinum card. Okay. 
or credit card, not the ATM card? No. Okay. How, is Tasha a great friend of yours? I'm assuming you guys... We, no, she was a manager at Siggy's in St. Cloud, and that's how we met her. And um, she transferred to Orlando, mm -hmm. and she still comes to St. Cloud and brings the cigarettes to us. Bring, I don't get that, brings the cigarettes to you. What's that mean? She rolls the cigarettes, and for $30, she brings um, Mark, me, and Judy, uh, the... 200 cigarettes, which is equivalent to a carton, and it's only $30, but it's pure tobacco. Oh. And so she just brings them and drops them off at Mark's shop. I got you. Yeah. So, what's interesting? Um, it takes a lot of patience to do that, I would assume. They have a big machine. Oh, okay. <laughs> you just tell them money. what brand, <laughs> and you make sure, you, you tell them they put it in the computer, and you can pick mild, you know, you did, but it just doesn't have all the additives and all that other stuff in it. You pour it in the machine and it'll do like 200 cigarettes in a matter of minutes. Okay. And so it's only 30 bucks. And Sunday, you said before, after you got dropped off and before Judy gets there. I met her and you, swapped them out. And where'd you meet? At Westgate. What's that? What's Westgate? Westgate in St. Cloud, uh, where um, CFE is, where uh, Big Lots is. Big Lots. Yeah. Um, and it was uh, where Siggy used to be. There's another store there now. But we just, we met there and she came to the window. I handed her the menthol one. She handed me that. I now went out the, um, uh, what is it? Uh, is it CBS? Right down the corner. I went out there, turned, and went up um, Old Canoe Creek. Um, Pine tree up to Rambler to the house. And then you went home? Yeah, and I called Judy and she was there two, three minutes. And you called Judy before she got there? Or? I called Judy before, she, yeah, I called Judy before she got there. Okay. Um, Opened the front door. Marie and Harry, you guys know real well. Yes. And does your mom talk to them on a regular basis? Yes. Would you say daily basis? I wouldn't say daily, but mm -hmm. regular, yes. Okay. Do you have to say it's odd that your mom hasn't contacted anyone? Yes. Um, since we left yesterday, I know you didn't have your phone, but has anybody been trying to call your mom? I don't know. Okay, have you or your dad or anybody at where you were staying last night, have they been trying to call your mom? Am I? Well... I don't think my dad did know, but my I don't think my dad wouldn't because I don't know if my sister has. Um, did you talk to your sister since you left here last night? No. Okay. When I got to dad's, she was, I'm sure, already asleep, and I would sleep, and when I got up to you, sleep? Mm -hmm. a, a couple hours. Okay. Did you? Um, and I called you. And from what I understand, Dad said she had already left to go to work. And I, she says she doesn't like getting calls at work, so that's the reason I haven't... Talked to Judy? Yeah. Okay. That's what I was going to ask. Yeah. Tried to call her or anything. It's my understanding. She's in training, so I mean, and I, she, he's getting phone calls at work. Unless it would be from you guys. Right. Me calling, have you heard anything, would irritate her. And, gotcha. I, I, and I don't want to do that. So... Um, that and her, my dad don't speak, so she wouldn't call my dad's house. Right. And if I called her from my dad's house, she wouldn't answer. Why her. is that? Why don't they go? Why don't they talk? They had a falling out um, a couple of years back, and they haven't spoke. Judy considers my dad dead to her, so. Okay. They have absolutely nothing to do with each other. So they, yeah. she wouldn't answer her. What about Mark and the, and the her son? Do they talk to your dad at all? What's just she? They used to have a gate between the property and dad and Katie went to Tennessee and when they got back to get, they had removed the gate and put the fence up in place of it. Okay. It was over my niece. 
she got hurt, nobody said anything, and it was a little thing that turned into this huge drama mountain, and it went from there. I tried everything to get him to reconcile, and I finally surrendered. How long was that? That happened? Two years ago. About two years ago? Okay. Mm -hmm. Shame. Maybe. Shame. Could be three years, for all I know. Mm -hmm. I know at least two. So, I mean, if I called from my dad's house, there's no way Judy would answer. Um, has any family member called your dad or called your dad trying to reach you? No. And try to, you know what I mean? No family member. Do you have any, anything that the family members are talking? You know how it is, you know you know how families are. No, but nobody, so. fam nobody fam no family member knew I was at my dad's. Gotcha. By the time I got to my dad's, I it was so, I, there was, I didn't make any phone calls because I, you know. You went to sleep. You're well, tired. Well, I didn't go directly to sleep, but I mean, it was like four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So, and I'm not saying that my other family members weren't awake, yeah. but a lot of them, anybody on my mom's side of the family wouldn't recognize my dad's phone number. Gotcha. So, and honestly, I couldn't remember my Aunt Joy's number because it's in my phone. And she would be the, and Marie, I don't know her phone number off the top of my head. So, I mean, there was not many phone numbers. I mean, those were two people I would have called, but I don't, couldn't remember their phone numbers. Where are you going to stay when you get to Ohio? Um, I have a friend, uh, Melissa Smith. She has, a, Smith. Yeah, she has a house, and I'm going to be um, staying there until I find a place. Let's go check on that phone real quick. Yeah. yeah I'll be right back,
the the little the little box just crashed. We just swap it out some uh, an SD card real quick. He said we should be done in a couple minutes. Hey Judy, I want to bring a. Uh, sorry, Amy. Apologize. My bad. I want to ask you a couple more questions, okay? And and I need for you to be completely truthful with me, okay? All right. Base. When was the last time you called? You tried to contact your mom on your phone. When was the last time? Um. Did it at least rang the phone? No. Did it run rang? No, it just all it said was person you've reached um, has not set up a voicemail. So I assumed and I know I shouldn't have it she either was out of minutes, it was dead, or she had turned it off, or she turned the ringer. I mean, you know, and I knew she didn't have a phone charger. Okay. And I honestly thought she would call whenever they stopped. Okay. So I really wasn't too concerned. And then when Judy told me they had been trying to call her and call her and call her and call her, then... Okay. How about if I tell you that the last, for your phone, the last phone call that you ever did to your mom was on September 18, which was Friday night, just before 11 o'clock at night. Will you be surprised about that? It's based on your phone information. Very. Okay. And then... The call history, you know how you go through the call history and you can remove calls from the actual call history log, mm -hmm. what's removed, what's deleted. I don't delete my call history. Okay, why not? That's coming straight from your phone, a phone that you own, the phone well, that you I use. Well, I mean, I understand that, but there's no reason for me to delete it. I mean, I have no reason to. And I know that I called my mother's cell phone okay. but after the 18th. I know I did. Okay. You said that the, you have an e-pass account. Mm -hmm. Your mom has an e-pass account. Mm -hmm. And then Carrie mm -hmm. has an e-pass account, right? Right. When you went to, when Carrie picked you up at your mom's house at your residence, mm -hmm. you guys left in Carrie's car, which mm -hmm. is a... A black Mustang, mm -hmm. and he didn't pay the toll. He went through the e-pass section, right? He has a, he didn't stop. He did he pay in, in the attendant, or and he went through the he, he did not pay attention. He just went right through the Sun Pass e-pass lane without stopping. When we went through the Kissimmee Park, it went through, but whenever the rest of them, he did pay because well, I guess his e-pass account was low. I don't know. Okay. Will you be? Surprise, or I would like to know what you would say if I told you that the last time that account was used was earlier this month. Carries Carries account, yes. And there's absolutely no record of him going through e-pass or anything like that. Yes, that would surprise me. Okay. So I'll give you already two things. You understand what I mean? That I understand. That I'll be able to confirm. Based okay. on the information I'm getting and stuff like that, I understand. You know, to confirm. So, I mean, but it, I, I don't, I can't give you an answer. But I mean, because okay. I don't understand, but it does surprise me. Let's swap shoes for a moment. You know, how will you feel about that? You've been in my shoes, getting those stuff right now. I just, I just want to know what happened to your mom. You know what I mean? What happened to your mom? I and stuff like that. And I just want you to be honest with me. I and you ain't left in town. You know, okay, I ain't left town. You know, I was, I was hanging out here. Yeah, with another friend, but. You understand what I mean? So when you got those things, you just, you know, kind of a couple of exclamation points and, you know, a couple of flags are coming up. You understand what I mean? I, I understand, and I, I, 
I don't have an answer for you because I, I don't understand. And I do want to know what happened to my mother. I have no idea what's going on. That's what we're trying to find out. I know. And the only thing we ask from people, you know, to help us out and I'm is trying, to be completely honest with us. And that's what I'm, I, I am. I'm being completely honest with you. Because I want to find my mother. Yeah, we want to find your mother too. And right now, all, all, all we care is your mom, your mom's yes, safety. Yes, that's all I care about. Okay. Um, going back to your banking, your banking situation. You got your own account and your mom has her own account, right? Mm -hmm. Do you guys bank in the same bank? No, I bank at PNC, she banks at CFE. Okay. PNC, which one is that one? Uh, P PNC is, PNC. yeah, it's directly across from um, Dairy Queen. Okay, okay. Across the street, like from Subway? Subway area around right there? No, um, you have Dairy Queen and then you have like Prescription Unlimited. Gotcha, yes, and, yes. Well, yeah, and Subway is there, there yeah. on the corner, yeah, so it, it's right here. PNC. That's my bank. She banks at CFE. I have her account information. She has my account information. Okay. What can you tell me about? Uh, has been any deposit made to your account? Mom wrote me a check for twenty five hundred dollars that I did a mobile deposit for. A mobile deposit? Yeah, Is I, it a check or a mobile deposit? It's a check, but on my uh, it's there's a, PNC has a, an app where okay. you can do um, a, what's called a mobile deposit. You take a picture of the check, and then it, it goes to your account after a few, after a few days. Okay. And what's that check at? Uh, she had I gave it back to her. Okay. All I have to do is sign the back of it, and then you have to put forward mo mobile deposit only is what you do. So she writes it, and what day was that? When, what day was she wrote that, that check? That was on the uh, morning of the 19th. 19th, that's Friday. Okay, 20, no, no. No, it's Saturday. Saturday? Saturday, Saturday. Saturday. morning, I'm sorry. Saturday. I apologize, yeah. Yeah. I'm almost over my days. Sorry. Uh, yes, you're uh, right. I apologize, that, my that's Saturday. Okay. Yeah, morning of uh, Saturday. Okay. All right, so she paid for your ticket for Ohio. Mm -hmm. And she used what, what card? The CFE Platinum. Okay. That's a debit card or a credit card? Credit card. Credit card. And then she also gave you a $25 check. check. And you said what? Just for me to go into my account to have, so that way she worried, you know, that way I had money and just in case I needed anything. She wanted to make sure that I was safe and taken care of. She didn't want me to have to, if I needed to get back or if I needed something or something happened, she wanted me to be able to have the money to do it. Okay. Do you know your last four digits of your account number? That shows on your card? 5353. Five, and that's with PNC, right? Mm -hmm. And that's a credit card. That's your your checking account, debit card. That's my checking account. Debit card, right? It's like a debit card. No, it's an actual. It's a checking account. Okay. Yeah, but I debit card. I don't know what the last four digits are. Okay. That's at home in my purse. Okay. So. Being here right now and asking you that about your phone, about the phone calls, and about the e pass. And now this all comes to light about, you know, now there's a actual a, a wire check, digital check transfer to your account. You understand what I mean? This thing came up yeah, last night, early today. They didn't come up earlier and stuff like that. I didn't think anything of it, really. I mean... But come on, Amy. You know, the, the, don't you think that, that, that would have been important? It, it is, but I mean, I'm, I can't remember everything when I'm that tired. I'm, my brain... Well, listen, had, I'm tired, too. So I, I understand that, but I mean, you, your brain works different than my brain. Mine is going at 100 miles an hour. I'm trying to remember everything. I'm trying to be able to tell y'all everything. And I'm, I'm trying... It, it everything I can to give y'all all the information that you need 
be completely truthful with you and try to remember everything. And sometimes I can't. And I, I'm sorry for that, but I just, I, just, I, I can't remember everything all the time when I'm trying so hard to remember everything to be able to tell you guys. But my mom giving me money is not anything that's unusual. Buying a ticket for me is nothing unusual. What do you think Kara's going to say when we contact him? If we contact him? What do you think Kara's going to say? That he came and picked me up at 5 o'clock and he dropped me off. And he's going to tell you that he paid for the tolls and he doesn't know why his son passed didn't register. What do you think Taj is going to say when we go talk to her? That we met at Westgate and that we swapped out cigarettes and that she left and I left. You just don't understand. He's like, you're telling me some information here about the phone calls that you made for your, for your mom, tried to receive from your mom. You're telling me that. Then, however, when we go to your phone, you hear it from here to, to see, to take a look, stuff like that. You, your phone is giving us a complete different story of what you're sharing with me. I can't answer you on that. I, I have absolutely no idea. I don't, I don't know why my phone is doing what it's doing. I don't know what's going on with my phone. It doesn't matter if you delete or try to get rid of some information, the phone always keeps that information. I understand that, but I mean, I don't understand. I don't know why my phone is doing what it's doing. I don't, I don't understand. I can't give you an answer. I don't know enough about phones. I don't, I, I cannot give you an answer on this. I know what I did, I, but I can't tell you why my phone is not telling you that. I can't. I wish I could. We're trying to get to, to to find your mom. I understand that. Okay. Your mom is very important to you. I can see that you love your mom very much. Very. But you're... I would do anything to you're find You're telling us some information. You try to confirm that information. That information is completely the opposite of what you're telling us. Contradict what you're telling us. You understand what I mean? I, I understand. So, it, I, it just... It, it just I, I just want you to, to understand in what kind of position, you know, that puts me. You understand what I mean? So I'm not saying I'm having doubts on you with you, but like I said, you just bring some some red flags. And I'm just trying to sit down here with you right now and be able to for you to for you and me to put our heads together and try to be able to understand all the pieces of the puzzle. You understand what I mean? I understand. And the only thing I ask for you to is to just to be completely honest. And I am being Okay. I, I just don't want you. I just don't want you to hinder yourself by holding information by lying to me. I don't I'm want not. you to do that. I, and I'm not. And I okay. and I honestly cannot answer why my phone is not telling you what I'm telling you because it should be. Not correct. I mean, it, it it should be telling you exactly what I'm telling you. My phone should indicate all of that. That is correct. And I don't know why it's not. I cannot answer you on that. I, I, I'm sorry, I, just, I, I don't know. But it should be telling you exactly what I'm telling you. Okay. I mean, what I'm telling you, you should be able to look at my phone and go, okay, this is exactly everything. And I don't know why it's not. I honestly do not. I wish I could tell you. Gotcha. I want to find my mother more. I want to bring your mom home. Yes. I want to bring it to the girl, to you girls. I, I don't, I, I would do anything in the world to find my mother. And that's the reason I'm being completely honest with you. I'm trying to remember everything. I'm trying to remember every word, every conversation, everything, by minute by minute. And I... Everything is just 
getting all jumbled. I can't remember times. My, my job description and my, and my job is to get the facts, investigate, talk to people, and, and assist the family. You understand what I mean? That's what I'm trying I know. to do. I know. Okay. And then when everybody puts all the effort and the, you know, every, everybody has roles. You understand what I mean? I got my role and stuff like that. The information I get from you and the family members that you guys put on the, on the table is what I take and I run with it. I know. You understand what I mean? And that, that's what, that get the machine going. I am. You understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that's what we, when, when we get the conclusions and stuff like that, confirm this, confirm that, and stuff like that. That's what investigations are. Taking all the facts, can be able to confirm, look into it, do research, and we get the answer. Mm -hmm. Okay? I too. So, the only thing I ask you, um, Amy, sorry, is for you to be completely honest with me. Okay? And be able to think. And help me out, and I hope, yeah, I hope you out, and be able to share information, and you know, change, you know, be able to share with each other thoughts mm -hmm. that we'll be able to understand mm -hmm. and to move on, okay, from this hiccup right now that I got. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. Uh, right now, I gave, I gave you three things right now that if it weren't for my investigation, you would have mentioned the situation with the, with the phone now. With e pass and now that transfer, that wire transfer. You understand what I mean? So I don't. The transfer is not unusual. Okay. Does sure. she does that every month? Not every month, but she. How often does she transfer that amount of money to 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 your account for just for you just every few just months. to have it? Every few months. And why does she does that? If you were, you got your own income and you pay bills. Why are you gonna give money to her for her to pay bills? We to pay you half, and then she's giving you a lot more money than. What you pay her on a monthly basis to pay bills? I just don't get. It. She's trying to help me get a car. Okay. So how much money has she given you? Let's say of this amount, in the last year, where what was in September, from January to September, how many times she given you this? Because you know I work. You know what I mean. I'm not rich. You know what I mean. And, and you know, and somebody gave me twenty five hundred dollars. I consider that holy crap. Uh, well, you understand what I mean? Like, yeah. oh my God, man. You're right. You understand what I mean? You're just like, that's a lot of money for me. Right. But that's my personal, you know, for my, my opinion, you know, $2,500 is a lot of money. Yes. You know, how often does she does that? Like from January to, to now September, how, how often has um, she done that? Four times. Four times. And, but unfortunately, um, so it has been twenty five hundred dollars the same amount, or she what, what has been the amount? It's five hundred. It's two thousand. It's twenty five hundred. But do you um, remember the amount? It's just been those three. It's been so five hundred, right? It's been a five hundred. Oh, been, okay, one second. Let's do something real quick. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Six hundred. Okay. Um. So that's six hundred. That's the first time. That's one. That's one. Do you remember one? No. Uh, Beginning of the year, it was cold. This year, outside. it was this year. Okay, six hundred. Um, it, uh, it's it's kind of twenty five hundred today. Uh, the other, the, this reason, so that's twenty five hundred. There's twenty five hundred. Okay. There's six hundred. Um, four hundred, and I think another six hundred. I know it's six hundred. Mm -hmm. So two times she gave you six hundred, and then one time she gave you four hundred, and now she gave you twenty five hundred. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that, that that's a big jump, right? You know, from going just for a couple hundred dollars, now all of a sudden uh, that's a drastic jump. Any reason why? That's forty one hundred dollars. You told me that she gave me. He gave me you from she's January want, to. She's wanting to try to help me get a car, but she's also trying to help me get um, health insurance because I lost my health insurance, and so she's trying to help me get my health insurance. And unfortunately, health insurance right now is like three hundred dollars a month. So until I get health insurance, you know, kicked in, it's going to be three hundred and sixteen, three hundred forty-three dollars. Okay. Because of blood pressure and my heart condition. Okay. Um, so she's trying to help me with that. So if I look a little bit more into your mom's account and your account, 
are going to be able to see those transfers or those deposit from your mom's account to your account. Yes. And how do you guys did those transfers? The same way that you did the twenty five hundred dollars? Some was cash, and um, I, one was one was a check, and then um, which one was the check? I don't remember exactly which one, um, but mostly it's been cash because it goes into effect right then. So. What do you mean goes into effect right then? It, it's available to you. Okay. Does she put the cash in your account? She gives it to me, I go to the bank and deposit it at the ATM. Okay. Just the same way she did in this one, this most recent one. That, she gave me the check and she had me do the, the on my app, my PN, PNC app. Okay. Um, if I had my phone, I could show Who wrote the check? She did. Okay. Um, if I had my phone, I could show it to you. Okay. What I'm talking about. Okay. It's an app, you go to it, and it says deposit, and you put the uh, which account you want it to go to, how much, you take a picture of the front of the check, the back of the check, and then um, you hit continue, and then you wait for it to clear your account, which could be anywhere from five to seven days. And that was the reason some of the times she did the deposit. It gave me the cash because that way I could just go to the bank and put it in the bank. How long you had you had your phone for? How long? Since when? Um over five years. Over five same number for over five years? Yeah. Okay. Same company, Boost? Mm -hmm. Okay. You had the same phone for the five years or you've been Upgrading them. Well, I've been upgrading them, but I kept the same phone number. Okay. Yeah. How long you have this stop phone? Your stop phone, the, the smartphone. Uh, how long? since probably about six months. About six months. Yeah. Okay. Maybe uh, seven. Okay. All right. No, probably about six months. All right. Let me see if that phone's ready. That way, you can show me that check. Okay. Okay. I'll be right back. All right. Yep.
died. Your phone died, so it's being charged right now. And it says that it's so dead that it's not will not, will not even turn on with the with the with the plug on. That doesn't sound right. When it's plugged in, my phone will turn on. When it's very dead, when the phone's even this iPhone, when it's completely dead. No, you turn it on and you plug it in, it will turn on that it's charging, but it will not have enough charge to turn on, on, to power on completely. Mine normally does. That's, that's what I just went over there, it's not going to turn on. I just got the little sound that's charging with the light, with the red light, and it's plugged in and it's not turning on. Then it shows the battery. It I, shows no, the battery. I, I understand that, but I mean, that, that's something wrong then because so my thumb... We, we, we just got to give it a couple minutes and I know it will okay, fire up. But the, I mean, that I understand what you're saying, okay. but I have, my phone is, I've zeroed it out and it, where it's turned off. Okay. And I plugged it in and I've still been able to turn it on. So there's something wrong with my phone because it should be turning on. I don't know. I ain't no phone guy, but I'm not I gotta, either, but I gotta I'm just, go by I'm the tech, so. I know. I'm just, I'm telling you that that has happened before. You know that we're going to confirm and reconfirm everything. You don't, you understand that, right? Yes. Okay. Um, the thing I don't get, I have e-pass. So, I have e-pass. Mm -hmm. um, the times when my e-pass have gone to zero balance, and I've gone through it, it was still register. Okay? Okay. So, you're telling me, you're sitting here, if I'm mistaken, and your e-pass is in your purse, right? Yes. Okay. So, you said that Carrie's e-pass was going low on balance, but guess what? I did take my e-pass you know, with me. Okay, okay, forget about, about your e-pass. Let's talk about carries. Okay. It doesn't show carry up here using the e-pass. Even the e-pass register or anything like that. It doesn't show carry nowhere here. I'll tell you that right now. That's for a fact. Okay? When you went to see Tasha to do the, the, the thing about the cigarettes, exchange right. the cigarettes, mm -hmm. you went straight home, right? Yes. You didn't stop nowhere else? No. Okay. You sure about that? After I left Tasha, yeah. Okay. So you went from your house straight to see oh, Tasha. Oh, no, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. there it is. Wait, wait. Um, there it is. I'm trying to... Okay. Please. Right. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I stopped at, um... What's that place? Um... It's a, a storage. Okay. I stopped there. Okay. And I was there for a couple of minutes, and then I left, and then... Any reason why you stopped at the storage? Do you have storage there? I don't have storage there, but I was going to see about how much it would cost to rent some... Because there's some stuff that I'm not going to be taking with me. What storage is that one? Where at? It's next door to uh, what used to be Mickey's. Uh, it's on Old Canoe Creek. Um, it was a gas station store. Yeah, nah, I gotta look it up. I don't know. I, I can't remember the name of it, but it's I mean it's orange. It, you went inside? No, the they said to call the manager and but nobody, you know, answered. I knocked on the door. But I was only there for a couple of minutes. I backed out and then went straight home. But I was only checking to see how much storage. Was, was that on the way to see Tasha? Or that was no, that was, that was on my way home. That was on my way home. Okay. I can tell you that there's nothing wrong with your phone. I'll tell you that right now. And I want you to understand your phone is going to tell me exactly where you've been. Okay. You understand that, right? Yeah. And that's why I'm here talking to you because I want to give you the opportunity for you to tell me where you were. Hopefully, I'm hoping that you'd be honest with me and tell me, prove me wrong that the information that you're telling me is the same information that shows on your phone. You, know, you understand what I'm getting through? Yeah. You understand what I mean? The only thing I ask from you, Amy, is for you to be completely honest. I have that. Okay. But right now, the information I got from your phone. It's not matching up with what you told me or where you've been. Or what you have done. And the same thing with the e-pass. Carries e-pass. 
I can't tell you about Carrie Z Bass. I, I, you saw what I mean? I, I can't tell you about that. I don't know. I can't answer you on that. How much money do you have in your purse? Uh, 405 $6. And where the where that money came from? Um, I stopped an ATM. Okay. When? Sunday. What? Sunday. I don't know exactly what time. In the morning, the afternoon. Morning. Was before lunch, after lunch, before, before lunch. Before lunch. Okay. What bank was that? BB and T. Where's that one at? Uh, well, there's one on 192. Um, which one is the one that you stopped? That's what I'm asking. I don't know exactly which one it is. It's on 192. I don't know exactly which one. Put yourself in my situation, Amy. You see what I'm getting through? I can't give you a little bit, putting out more things on the table. And all of a sudden, oh my god, boom, ba -ding. a little light comes on. Oh, I'm yeah, that's trying. right. I am trying. I am trying. Yeah, as far as giving, it's giving to me, you, you give me the assumption that you're holding back. You, you, you just don't, don't want to tell me everything. I'm not intentionally holding anything back. I am trying. I, honest to God, am trying. I am not holding anything back. I, I, honest to God, am trying. I don't have the best memory in the world, but I honestly. Me to neither. God, but honest to God. But I, situations I mean, like this, very seriously, I tell you this right now, I'll make an effort I'm to really remember. Yes, I'm trying. And very important things that happen to the, in the day, very big <laughs> stuff that happened during the day, I'm gonna remember. I you see, for a fact that you remember, you meeting up with Tasha to exchange some cigarettes, <sighs> but you don't remember. Stop it on the bank, not stop it on the storage, and all that kind of stuff. I'm and that, all that taking half an hour. I just don't get it. I'm trying. I am trying. Honest to God, I am trying. I know you're tired. I'm exhausted. And I, I, I'm trying. Honest to God, I am trying. I don't know what to tell you, but I am trying. Put myself in my situation. Put yourself in my situation. In my shoes. And I'm sitting in your chair. You're asking me the same questions I'm asking you. About something very important that pertains to your mother. And all of a sudden, you're not remembering anything of where you've been, where do you go, where do you stop. And it has to be me giving you a little bit for you to remember. This is very important, Amy. This, it pertains to your mother. The well-being of your mother, where your mom go, who your mom is with right now. The important mission right now is to get your mom home, safe and sound, back to her daughters. I'm aware of that. And that's and all And you're I not want. making it easy right now with me, for me. I'm not because, trying to make it difficult. Because right now, information I'm getting contradicts completely. Oh, why are you telling me, Amy? It's been a long night for you, a long weekend for you, for you and your family. Time is, time is going by. You need to let me know and be completely honest with me what happened this weekend. I feel that you haven't been honest with me completely, Amy. I feel like you're holding things back. I'm not. And you need to be completely honest with us. I am, and I'm not holding anything back. Because based on what you know, you're telling me, you spend most of the time with your mom that actually Judy does. You live with her. You guys live together. Yes. You guys share a lot of time together, a lot of memories. You guys pay bills. Yes. 
You need to be completely honest with me for us to do our job, Amy. I understand that, and I am, and I am trying to remember everything. Honest to God, I am. All I want is to find my mother, and all I want to do is give you the information to be able we to We have to look you. everywhere. I know. Every avenue. I know. See who's lying to us, who's not lying to us. I know. You understand what I mean? And the more I dig and dig and dig, you understand what I mean? Your story is not making sense of what I got right now, Amy. I don't know what it's not confirming what you're telling me since the last night. And I want you to be completely honest with me. I, I want you to take a deep breath and say, you know what, Joel? I'm sorry. Yes, I did forgot to tell you. And then and let's start fresh. But you need to tell me step by step. And we took our time last night. And we took it day by day, hour by hour. Phone call by phone call, person by person, and then I come today. We try to reconfirm what you told us last night, which is pretty much the same thing. And then I get all this information dumped on my desk on my lap that is showing me that you're not telling me the truth. The only thing I ask for you, for the sake of your mother, Amy. For her truth. safety, for you to tell me the truth right now. We need to get you mom home. I agree. All right. I got back before 11 o'clock. Okay. From where? From Chiefland. Okay. Got back before 11 o'clock. I got back... Probably about nine o'clock. Okay. I left. I went towards Nova Road. I turned around. I took a call from Marie. I stopped at a junkyard or something. I talked to her. I went into St. Cloud. I stopped at bb and I went to Westgate. I stopped at storage, went home, and I called my sister. Okay. What car were you driving? Mom's. Mom. When you got back home, what was, in, what was inside the house? Nothing. I mean, just, it was exactly as it was when me and Judy, when Judy walked through the door. The key was there, I just grabbed it, got in the car. I ran my errands and then I called Judy and that's a good step right now you just took but why why, 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 why it took this long for you for you to come out with that why think about how it makes me sound we're humans we make mistakes you don't understand my I don't no, understand. You I don't, don't, no, you don't understand my sister. She would take that and she would think that the most horrible person ever walked on this earth that I put myself in front of my mother and I don't. I don't. But that's what she would think. And so would my Aunt Joy. And I don't. I put my mother first. Listen to me. I stopped and talked to Marie. Because I got upset, and I didn't want to be driving while I was talking to her on the telephone. Okay. She can confirm that. Okay. We went over everything. What, 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 what you guys went over? The last time she talked to my mother, what my mother said, what she thought was going on, and I told her I would keep her up to date that I was supposed to be meeting my sister and that I would call her. Let's forget about your sister. Let's forget about your aunt. It, Let's just think about Amy and Mom. There is okay? Nothing. Let's forget about those people. There is nothing I wouldn't do for The only thing I care right now is the conversation that I'm having with you right now oh. and about your mom's safety. Okay, let's put all the, everybody back. The, nobody pays your bills. You pay your own bills, right? Yes. You give, you work, you pay your mom, and you guys pay your bills, right? And she helps me out. Exactly, exactly. 
So it's a team, right? Yes. 50 50, she helps you, you help her out. Okay, then why, Amy, took this long for you just to talk, come out with that? Because it makes me sound like a horrible person. You're not a horrible person. We all make mistakes. Put yourself in my shoes. My mother is missing. It makes me sound like a horrible person. It really does. I put errands before my mother. But let's go back to, we've been talking since last night. Why it took until I didn't want to almost 4.55. I didn't want to sound like a horrible person. So why? This is this is stuff that I need to that I need to I know. know. I know. You know what I mean? And, I know. And, and can I tell you something? That information you just told me right now, I knew it already. I just needed you for you to take that step of faith and put on on the table for you to tell me what I know already. Okay. There's a start. There's not everything. Okay. We have to move on. Okay? So, let's start from, let's start from the time that you got back home. What time you left Ch Chiefland? Chief, that place over? Seven. Chiefland. Okay. Just at Gainesville. Okay, Gainesville. Okay. And, um, and you were with Carrie. Yes. And still driving the, his same car, his yes. black car? Mm -hmm. Okay. You guys took the same route, right? Yes. Um, that state road was the... Two st Alternate 27 to 75 Five. to Turnpike to the Kissimmee Park exit. Okay. Okay. Did he drop you off? Yes. Did he go inside the house? Yep. Okay. How do you enter the house? How do you get in the house? The screen door on the front was locked, so I went through the gate on the side of the house and went through the back door underneath the cover, mm -hmm. and it leads into the kitchen. Okay. And bo both were both locks locked? Both locks were, were locked. Yeah. Okay. Um, I walked in and put my purse down. I saw the key and just grabbed it, went out the garage door, got in the car, and mm -hmm. Do you I looked around. around I, the mean, house? I looked around, but everything. I mean, I looked in the kitchen. I I looked in the living room. I did go to the bathroom in my bathroom, um, and I just kind of glanced in my bedroom. Everything. I mean, nothing looked out of place. So I walked back into the kitchen. I grabbed what I could see in my mother's room. You know, I mean, all I could see was the dresser and part of the bed and her black chair which was where it was. How made. was the bed? Bed was completely made. Okay. Um, black chair was exactly where it was supposed to be. There was, uh, the dresser was just like it always is. The bathroom door was open. You know, for, I mean, everything looked normal. So I just grabbed the spare key. I went out the garage door and got in the car, opened the garage door and backed out, did the errands and then drove back and called my sister. Okay. All right, let's go back a little bit right now. Let's slow it down a little bit, okay? Um, I'm saying you were a little bit emotional when you told me exactly what you did, okay? But I just want to make sure that we cover every step, okay? So, you took the spare key out, got in the car, back the car out of the garage. No, the spare key was on okay. the... No, no, no. Oh, okay. uh, you got the keys. You did everything you had to do in the house. Notice everything inside the house. Yeah, the spare key then you got on in the, the kitchen car. Co on the kitchen counter. Okay. Yeah. You got in the car. You you backed out the car or the garage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you left. Out. You left the house. Which way you 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 left the house? You went towards um Rambler? Hickory Tree. Hickory Tree. Okay. What was the first place you stopped? Um, at that um what, salvage yard when Marie called me. Okay. So we're going on Hickory Tree, and it was around what, approximately what time? Nine thirty, okay. ten. Okay. So you go on Hickory Tree, you go towards Y ninety two, right? Y ninety two. Which I turn left? You turn left. Mm -hmm. Okay. I went towards Nova. Did a U turn at Nova? Make Nova. a left towards Nova. You sure? I'm, I'm sorry. Right. Right. Sorry. I'm sorry. Right. There at Seven Eleven. Mm -hmm. I turned right on the one ninety two. Okay. Went towards Nova. 
Beth Nova did a U-turn. Marie called me and I pulled into, I believe it's a salvage. I don't know exactly the name of it. I just saw it was a business. I pulled in there, stopped the car and talked to her um, 15 minutes, maybe 20, I don't know. Um, I told her that, you know, I would give her a call back. Um, did that, got back on the 192, went down 192. Uh, there's a BB and T on the left. I stopped there. Um, got four hundred dollars left there. Which um, when you got to the BB and T, that bank right down the corner. Mm -hmm. um, you you use an ATM? Yes. Which ATM you use? I was, do you have to get out of the car and walk up to the place? No, it's the one that you can drive up to, and it's right there at your window. Okay. And um, who banks there? Nobody. Nobody. I just, it was just it was the first okay. bank, so I just stopped there. Okay. Um, and then I left there. And how, I'm sorry. And how much money you took out of there? Four. Okay. All right. From your account? Uh, no, actually, from my mother's account. Okay. Um, Any reason why? What's from your mother's account? No. It was just she said I could do it, so I did. When did she said that? When did she gave you the permission to take out the four hundred dollars? Friday. Friday. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I understand. Stop. She gives you a check for twenty five hundred dollars that you electronically deposit in your account. Mm -hmm. She also pays you plane ticket, mm -hmm. and then she also gives you the day before permission to do it on Sunday to withdraw four hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. That is extremely generous. Okay, just making the math. That's like over three thousand dollars in less than a weekend. Well, I mean, you understand I, what I mean? On my phone, I can show you all of this. Hopefully, next break I will take. Okay, you know, I can show so. you my account. I can show you her account. Okay. Um, but left there, drove through town, went to Westgate, met Tasha, mm -hmm. left out that dude by CVS, turned on Kissimmee Park, stopped at that storage place. And like I said, did press for the manager. Nobody answered. Knocked on the door. They have surveillance. You can check. Um, left there, got back onto Kissimmee Park, or Old Coney Creek, and drove straight through, crossed over on Pine Tree, turned onto Rambler, went into Lakeshore, pulled into the garage, called my sister, within a couple of minutes, opened the door, she was there, she came in. Why was that so hard for you to tell us that yesterday? Why, why, why didn't you start it with that yesterday? That was simple, Amy. That was the reason I just don't, I just don't understand Amy. You understand what I mean? You don't know my family. That has nothing to do with your family now, okay? Let's, let's forget about your family right now. Let's just think about Amy and let's think about mom. I know. Forget about the family. You know, family's family, but nobody pays your bills. You pay your own bills. But okay, and you and, and right now, let's forget about that because in this situation right now, Amy needs to be selfish, and Amy needs to think about mom right now to do whatever she needs to do to get mom home back to her life, yes. to be able to both of you guys to keep going with your life. I agree. Okay. And that's all I want. Okay. The only thing I just want to understand, Amy, is like. Putting your family aside, why that was so hard for you to tell me? And we spoke yesterday for, I don't know how long we spoke yesterday. I know. You understand what I mean? And then we spoke on the phone this morning about two, three times. I know it was short. And I was with You know, and dad. then we spoke today. You know, you understand what I mean? And, and you, you had the opportunity to tell us. I, and I was with my dad. I understand that. I don't even know, need to know about this, okay? I know, but if I had said my dad was sitting right there listening you're an adult, I understand that I took you to his, into his house, but you could have told me, hey, Joel, can, and he I, moved can, I please, can I please speak to you in private? We could have, we could have gone and talk somewhere. You understand what I mean? I because you're an adult, you know, I know not he's your dad, and dad would be, always be dad. And he would have thought that I wasn't, it, my dad's cop brain would have kicked in, and, but anyways. But, you know. I was. 
I didn't want to sound selfish that I was putting myself in front of my mother because I'm not, and I didn't think that anything I did was going to make it help find my mom. I, I didn't. I didn't think any of those things would help find my mom. And I didn't know that my mom was missing. And I didn't want to sound selfish. The only thing I want to do, Amy, is find her. I know. That's the only thing. I want to bring back that home to you. That look, that smile. I know. And I need to find out where did she go and what happened. I know. I want the same thing. But I honestly didn't think any errands that I did that morning would change. I mean, didn't affect anything. I know I should have told you, and I'm sorry. And that, that that pulls me back a little bit. You know what I mean? Because so yeah, for that being trying to confirm everything that you had told me, that would have been the time that I would have done. You know, moving on and be able to. And you I know you wasted stuff. your time. No, I haven't wasted my time. Because this, this is my job. You spun your wheels no, because no. I didn't. I we're a machine. We're a supercharged machine right now. I know that, okay? but you were spinning your wheels because no. I... See, but now you have the opportunity, Amy. Because we have moved on from that to be able to, for you to put everything on the table. That is everything. And tell me a little bit more to be able to figure out what happened to your mom. What else can I tell you? I don't know anything else. The only thing I, I want to avoid, Amy, is be able to get the information back from the phone company. Okay? And that will open something else that contradicts a part of your story. I don't want, I don't want that to happen. And I need for you to look at me straight in the eyes. Okay. With your blue eyes to my dark brown eyes <laughs> and told me, Joel, the phone's gonna show me where I was. And I was up in Chief in Chief Chief Line Gainesville. It's going to show you that. It's gonna show me that you were up in Gainesville. Yes. On the weekend and you came back Sunday. It's gonna show you what time I was there. It's okay. gonna show you what time I left. It's gonna show you everywhere I was at. And it's gonna show me every phone call they did to Mary yes. and everybody you talked to. Yes. Okay, she's gonna Mary. show I'm oh, sorry. That, that lady that you said you talked to? Marie. Marie, I'm sorry. That was on Sunday. Marie, Mary, Mary. Well, that was, that was on Sunday mm -hmm. morning, okay. but yeah. It's and gonna they're going to show me even more details. So even going to show me the, the phone calls that you say that they disappeared from your phone about your mom. The phone calls that you made to your mom. Yes. So you're going to show me everything. It's going to show you everything. Inbound, out calling, you everything. know, outbound, you name it. Everything. Okay. It's going to show so you everything. you promised to me right now, you swear that, it's going to show me all that. Hand to God, I swear, it's going to show you everything. Okay. It's going to show you my exact location, times, everything. Okay. Hand to God. Okay. All right. My mother, I want her home. I want her home too. I want to go home right now and see her standing in the living room. That's what I want. I want to bring her home. I know. I want to go home and see her standing in the living room. You don't, you, you don't want to have in my heart right now? I want to get you home and get her home and see you guys reunite. That's what I want. I want to give her the biggest hug. I would never let her go. Never. What would you do different if you had the opportunity, Amy? If we, if we ever, if, when we find your mom, what will you tell her? What will you do if we have the power right now to take out, let's say there's a remote, to hit rewind, what will you do different? I would leave on Saturday. I would not leave. No? No. You would stay where? I would want to be at the house. I would, I would, I would want to be there. And maybe this would have happened. If you had your mom in front of you right now, what would you tell your mom? 
I loved her very much. And that she's the most important person in the world to me. And there isn't anything I would do for her. And I'm glad that she was home. And then I would hug her and I'll let her go. And seek down to dog with her. It's the first time she ever taught me. What she will tell you by you telling her those, those words, well, what would be her reaction? She would cry and tell me that she loved me. Are you the young, youngest? Yeah. You're the baby? There's nine years between me and Judy. So you're mommy's, mommy's little girl? Mm-hmm. And she's my mommy. Mom will always be mom. She's not my mom. She's my mommy. She's always been my mommy. I'm trying to get you guys back there is, together. No, there's, I mean, I have never, ever wanted to disappoint her or make her unproud of me or... And I know that on a couple of occasions I have disappointed her and it killed me. Have you ever had an opportunity in your life to be able to make up for any wrongdoing or any mistakes, no matter how small the mistakes been into the biggest one, to make things right, how will you do it again? How, you, how will you make it up to her? How will you make it up to her? I would marry my ex-husband. <laughs> to start with that one, right? It, that's the biggest one. That's right. It, that, that's, that's the biggest thing. She was very disappointed when I married my ex-husband. And then the substance abuse that I had, she was very disappointed. I know I blamed on my ex-husband, but I wouldn't do that. Those have been my two biggest regrets in my life. Because I know those are the bit two biggest things that disappointed her. And I wouldn't do it. I would listen to her. When she told me, don't marry him. I wouldn't. And I think my life would have been, I know my life would have been completely different. She sounds, she sounds like she is a very wise woman. She is. She also sounds, though, the way that you describe her, uh, she's very, her faith is, she has a lot of faith in God. She is. She's Stuff like, she tries to be the best person that she can be. She's a, she's a very Christian woman. She doesn't cuss. She doesn't, she doesn't lie. She doesn't, she's the best woman I know. But you're aware of this, she said right back, now. If I, if I could go back, I would be exactly like her. But she, whatever place you sat right now, in Colorado, whatever state or city you know, nearby us, I bet you should be praying for you right now. I'm trying to send God's angels and her blessing, God's blessing to come around you. There are praying for her. It's a deep, my prayers to her. Begging God. I think she'll be doing the same thing for you guys too. Well, I've been praying for her and I've been begging God for you guys to be able to find her and bring her home. Or somebody, not just, not just you, anybody, to please just God break her home. And I've been doing that since yesterday. When I saw that first suitcase, or that blue and black one, actually, I should say. As soon as I saw that, I, my How you felt? What you thought? Tell me anything. My, my gut, I, my heart sank. Why? Tell me, tell me, tell me exactly what you felt, what you thought, because, what had in your mind. Tell me. Because that duffel bag is always on the shelf, top shelf, in the garage on the far wall. And it is not that I knew they were in the attic, and my mother 
would never put anything in the attic because of the heat. It doesn't matter if she was, she wouldn't put clothes up there, she would give them to Goodwill. That, because that's who she is. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason her and I have a bag of stuff that's going to Goodwill. But it's, you know, it's, she would never do that. And as soon as I saw that, my heart sank because I knew something was definitely not right. And after that, I don't, I mean, my mind just kind of zoned out on me for a little bit because I didn't know what emotion to have. I mean, there was all of them. I didn't know whether to scream, cry, yell, beg. I mean, I didn't, I didn't know. I just knew it was not good because I know my mom. She would give it to goodwill so other people could use them for jobs or to start over. She wouldn't put them in the attic. She wouldn't. And she taught me that. That it's better to help people to start over than to let stuff just rot or let rats eat it. My mother is a wonderful person. And I want her home so bad. She's my best friend. If you had the information, or let's say some kind of revelation from God, or some kind of psychic powers <laughs> to of knowing where your mom is, will you let me know? Are you asking me if God told me where my mother yes. was at? Yes. If God would speak to you in your dream or yeah. are you praying for your mom, will you share that information with me? Yeah. If you have any knowledge of where your mom is, will you share that with me too? Yes. You will not hold it back? No. If somebody will tell you, hey, I believe your mom's over here or over there or I heard, I think I saw her, will you share that with me too? I would call you, tell okay. you. This doesn't matter the time. Doesn't matter the time. This person told me this, I would get their phone number or address. Full name. This person told me this. This is their information. Please go talk to them. I don't care if it would be two, three, four o'clock in the morning. I know you probably wouldn't like that, but I'm sorry. Twenty-four seven. I. In order. To right now, right now, can I tell you something? Right now, my goal, my goal, and is from you, mom. Okay. And I'm, Me, I'm not, my family, understands my calling, understands my career. I know. And there's sometimes during my career and my time you have to be where, away from your family. Where my family is is understanding. My family is not selfish that my wife has to see her husband and my kids need to see daddy. They go. understand you have to put you what I mean? families I gotta put them. them to the side to right. put you know well now I don't consider you a stranger because we've been talking we're getting to know each other. Okay? My dad had to do the same thing. Exactly. I so you went through that. You I left. understand, yes. So for me to for us to go out there, part life I don't know, you know, risk, take risks and be able to bring closure and happiness and reunion. Right. And a second chance and opportunity for a family to redo their life and be able to reconstruct that life together or even move on for whatever hiccup or whatever problem they're having, okay? I understand living with your parent, you being probably the only child and your parent not having a partner or anything like that, it gets frustrated, okay? My dad lives with me, okay? And sometimes I call it, I need some me time. So what, what do I do? I need to call my brother. He said, hey bro, I need for you to come over to the house. I don't wanna bother your house. I need for you to come to the house. You need to give me a couple hours. I need to breathe. I need to go out of the house with my wife and my two kids 
and be able just to have some family time, one on one, you know, and let dad watch his what he loves, Fox News. You understand what I mean? I do. And, and, and I understand that it's difficult to live sometimes because you know, from whatever generation they're from, they were raised differently. Right. Whatever generation you and me were born at is completely different. You understand what I mean? You know, and now I bet you, you you look at this new generation growing up, you see, I wasn't like that when I was a kid. So this, that uh, misunderstanding, not understanding why they're being like that, and sometimes personalities, you understand what I mean? Especially when you spend so much time together. Well, see, that's why I think I'm, I'm extremely fortunate because, one, my mother's allergic to cigarette smoke. So okay. I can go out back, she won't come out there if I'm smoking. Or I can say, hey, Mom, I need to borrow the car. Mm -hmm. I'm running over to the beach just for a couple of hours, just for me time. She'd say, here, honey, here's the keys. And, you know, it, but I mean, and I feel very fortunate about that because her and I are able to do that. Yeah, me and my dad are able to do that. So, I you mean, like me, and my, me, me, me and my dad. We never got on each other. Yeah, I, I go basketball games with my dad. I go to soccer games with my dad. I go to baseball games with my dad when, when there's some. Um, um, spring training here, he loved that. That's his favorite time. That's his favorite sport. You understand what I mean? But there's also that breather time that you need away from each other. Because there's sometimes, you know, remember, it's very different when you live under your own roof and under parents' roof. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you, they got some rules and regulations that, you know what I mean, doesn't make no sense. Fortunately, you know? my mom didn't, she does it. We, we, she, you know, we were, yes, we were mother and daughter, and we lived under the same roof, but when it came to rules, it was, it, you know, if you're going to be gone all night, just let me know, mm -hmm. or if you're going to be, you know, whatever time you're going to be back, let me know, um, and she was good with that. I mean, it didn't matter. It mm -hmm. was, or if any time I needed to borrow the car and she wasn't using it, she would say, here, take it for a couple of days, you know. It wasn't, it was more of a roommate type thing because we were best friends, even though we were mother and daughter, but mom and I were so much alike, we didn't really get on each other's nerves. Gotcha. I mean, I, I, I feel very fortunate to say that. And there's nobody else in this world that will ever be like that. And that's the reason I want her home now. So if God comes to me and tells me where he thinks mom is, or if somebody tells me something about mom, I don't care what time it is or what day it is, I will call you with all the information and beg you to please go talk to me. And I don't care. It can be sound like the most ridiculous thing in the world, I would still call you. Um, have you ever rented cars? Yes. Um, do you do it through the same company all the time? Enterprise. Enterprise. Yes. What's yes. the last time you rented a car? Um, I think August. August. Uh -huh. Okay. And um, I was gonna tell you. Um, and when you rent a car. Um, who pays for it? I do. What, do you use the, a there was what There was one time that uh, mom rented the car, but I gave her the money, whatever I got back. Um, but yeah, I pay for it and I use a credit card or um, a couple of times I used a prepaid card, um, but I stopped doing that only because you have to have, you know, um, and one time I used my debit card, so, but there was, there was one time that mom rented a car for me and I paid her as soon as I, I got back. How much was that? $200. $200? Mm -hmm. How much was the ticket to Ohio? Um, I would have to have my phone to verify. I think it was like 300 and something. Okay. And what's through Southwest? I'm going, up, I'm going, no, it was on Spirit. I'm going okay. up on the... Um, Friday and coming back on Monday. So it's only a weekend thing that you're going to go? Right, I'm going to check everything out and then come back before I arrange to have everything. 
Um, and that was one of the reasons for the storage, because I'm not mm -hmm. taking everything. Um, I'm taking what you need. I'm just taking what I need. Um, and I just needed something a small, something small. And that's the reason I stopped, because they had some, they have some really small ones, and I've seen them. But I didn't know they weren't open on Sunday. But since nobody came, I said, I'll just deal with it later. If um, so, for example, you said you're going to leave well, Friday, come back Monday, mm -hmm. make sure everything is settled, everything is good. To try to, when were you planning to actually do the big move, like actually just go and? I was going to make that decision once I got up there. When you when you're scheduled again to start working over there? That is whenever I get up there is when they're going to give me my official start date. So I were well, you gonna meet with your boss when you want to go up there this on, weekend? On Monday. On Monday. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. On Saturday. 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 Okay. Saturday. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. That's the reason we're talking. That way we can clarify things. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. Because I mean, I mean, because originally I was supposed to meet him on Monday, but the flight back leave. I have to leave there at like seven o'clock, and I get back at like ten something in the morning. So, and originally the flight didn't leave until later. So we bumped the meeting back. So, but I wanted to look at everything, go over everything, and make sure that that was what was going to be best for me. And at this point, unless Mom is staying in that house on Thursday, I know they didn't go. I just, I can't. I can't go until my mother is standing back in the house. Gotcha. I wouldn't even go either, you know what I mean? You're the first person who's told me that. Everybody, all the other deputies, detectives, my sister has said, go, there's nothing you I don't know. Well, what they've told me, my sister. I will not go. My sister's exact words for me is, there is nothing you can do here that, that, that you can't do it in Ohio. Still, you know, you got, you got, you know, and this is the way I see it. I don't know you see it the same way. But this is the way I see it. You got some big decisions to make when you get up there. And if you're not completely clear in your mind, 100%, you cannot make those decisions because those decisions are going to change kind of your life. If you're looking for a new career, I would be you know, relocate, exactly, you need to concentrate and be completely here. So I don't blame you, you don't want to go. But she's telling me there's nothing I could do here that I can't do in Ohio, that I'm exactly the same distance apart. Uh, well, that's the, the other reason, that's are reason, saying I should that's go the why. I need to concentrate on work. That's the reason why I tell you, Amy. You make your own decisions. You forget about everybody else. I, Amy I makes did. a decision for Amy. And, and I, nobody cannot obligate nobody to do anything that they don't want. If Amy wants to stay because the situation is going on and your primary, your primary mission right now is to get mom home, right. you stay. You want to stay. Exactly. And I told Judy, I can't leave. I mean, dude, I said, and I told her, I said, Judy, I can't leave not knowing what's going on with mom. And she goes, yes, you can. You just need to go. And I'm like, how can you say that? It's your mother. And I walked in the house, and I'm like, there's no way I can do that. Mm -hmm. I can't go. Not until my mother is staying in that house. I don't care. If it work would do me good, I'm not gonna be able to concentrate until I know exactly that my mother's in the house, she's okay, and I can reach out and touch her. I'm not. I I can't. I'm not going. That's my decision, and it's in the subject. I don't care what anybody else tells me. That's my feeling, and that's my mom. And you're the first person who's actually agreed with me. Everybody else has told me I'm wrong. And I don't understand how people can say that. You forget about people. Don't, 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 don't pay attention to what people say. About people's opinions, okay? You just don't pay attention to that. Let me step out. Let me give you some tissues, okay? All right, we'll be right back. Thank you.
sold. That's the best I could find. Yes. Girls, the girls next door, they can buy the other, mm. the other nice fancy tissue. Mm. Okay. You okay? I just feel like I got a couple more questions for you. Real quick. Okay. You said, when was the last time you, you ran our car for Enterprise? When was that? I think it was in August. In August? What kind of car was it? Um, I would have to look at my phone. I have a, I can look Do you remember the color at least? No. Was this big, small, four-door, two-door, sporty? Four-door, four door, it may have been um, silver. Okay. Like a, um, Sad part about it is I love this car. Um, I would have to look at my phone. Okay. It, it, it would tell me. I think it was silver. You remember how much you paid for that? Um, not on the top of my head, no. Okay. It, would, it would tell me on my, I can look and it would tell Who, me. What credit card are you used to the, to, to the one? Mine. Yours? Okay. Okay. No, wait a minute. Uh, the silver one may have been the one that mom did, and I did it for three days, and that's when I gave it $200. Okay. Before that, it was also in August, I paid for. That one, I, I don't know if it was silver or if it was black and silver. Okay. Same style car, um, same exact car, just different colors. Okay. How many credit cards do your mom have? Uh, um, Oh, and which companies are those uh, credit card companies? Um, GM, which um, is like uh, Capital One, I believe. Okay. Um, Up Promise, and I'm not exactly sure who they're through. Um, and she has one in her name, and I have one in my name. We both do. And um, we both had the same PIN number on both of them. And then she has her CFE Platinum. And those are the only three I know about. Okay. So those accounts that you have, a, you, that she has one, her name, the other one has your name on it. Mm -hmm. Who's the primary account holder? She is. She is. So mm -hmm. she gives you one with your name on it as a, like a permission for you to use that one. Yeah, I okay. can use it and I pay for what I use. She pays for what she uses, I pay for what I use. When was the last time you used one of her credit cards to buy anything? Um, four. Wait a minute. Um, is it September? Mm-hmm. June, July. Okay. What did you purchase? You want uh, me to ask me? It was, I used the GM car and it was a rental car. Fall off of the Bronco. Okay. Yeah. All right. Is your mom like into technology and stuff like that, mom? She tries to be, and I try to help her with it. Okay. Not very tech savvy, but she tries. Okay. Does your mom have an email account? Yes, she has two. Two. Um, Which ones are those? Um, she has, um, what other email addresses? There's, uh, tayhawk10 at aol.com. I'm sorry, is it you? I'm sorry, T-A-Y. T-A-Y. H-A-W-K. H-A-W-K. One zero. One zero? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. At aol.com. Uh, aol.com. Mm -hmm. And then for, um, the other one, it's tayhawk11. Mm -hmm. At yahoo.com. Okay. Dot com. Yahoo.com. Do you got access to those emails? That the Yahoo one is on my phone because okay. that's the, what she sets up for for the GM um, and the up 
So it comes to me. I don't have access to her AOL one. Okay. But because we shared the two cards is the reason I have that on my phone. And that way when I get an email, I let her know. Okay. But normally when I get an email, because I put a charge. So. But if I didn't, I tell her, hey, Mom, you, you know. But the AOL one, I, that's her, that, that's all on her phone. Um, What can you tell me about, there's been any recent purchases by your mom that you know of? Because th th there's some things that I need for you to help me explain and understand, okay? I know she bought some stuff from um, Walmart. Okay, do you know those things that she bought? That she bought? Um, I know she bought a uh, full-length mirror, mm -hmm. a TV. Okay. Um, and because of the, she, the TV in her TV room is going out. And I think she bought some jewelry. Okay, how big was the TV that she bought? She bought a big boy. I don't know exactly how big, but I know she was bigger than mine. So. What credit card she used to do? Did you pay for that one? I'm not exactly sure, but I'm going to guess Walmart. Do you remember how much was the whole bill? No. I didn't ask her. Did she tell you why she needed those things? No. Did she tell you exactly what kind of jewelry she bought? Other than just, you know, like earrings and necklaces, because she wanted stuff, some stuff to wear to go with, you know, church stuff and, you know, different things like that. She was tired of not having, you know, different things to wear. I mean, I can't say anything about that. Everybody deserves to feel pretty. What will you say? I believe that your mom were not, was not the one that did those purchases. That my, I believe the person that made those purchases was you. Your mom found out that you were making those purchases and she didn't like it. Why would I make the purchases? I don't know. I don't you have know. access to the account. You got access to the emails. I don't have access. I just don't see a 79-year-old woman buying a 50-inch TV. I have a 42-inch TV. I don't need a 50-inch TV. Okay. Understand? And I think she got upset at you. Those are not my purchases. I don't need the jewelry. I've got plenty of jewelry. Mm -hmm. I don't need the jewelry. I don't need a 50 inch TV. Okay. And I don't need a full length mirror. So did she talk to you about those purchases? Did she mention anything to you? When she, she did those those purchases? Yeah, she asked me if I could help her with them. Okay. And I of course said yes. What what do you mean to help her with them? What do you mean? She was ordering them on the computer, so she wanted help with them. What computer did she use? She actually used my phone. Your phone? Yeah. So you did all the transactions on the phone? All I did was go through and she told me what she wanted and I said okay and whenever it, it started coming up I told her she needed to put in her numbers, you know, her, her account numbers and all this other stuff. I had her do that and when she did that I told her I said okay if you're done hit continue. I didn't watch her do it so 
you know, I just I just told her when she got done to hit continue, mm -hmm. and when she got done, she said okay, and I had her. I said, have you reviewed the order? She said yes. I said okay, hit continue, submit or whatever. She did, and confirmation came up, okay. and that was it. But they, it was not for me. I just helped her with it. Because, I mean, I'm taking my 42-inch TV with me, so I don't need a 50-inch. I don't need jewelry, and I don't need a full-length mirror. I mean, these are things that I don't need, nor do I want. Okay. What else did she buy? Has she made any other purchases other than that? Other than those purchases? Mm, um, not that I'm aware of. I mean, I've got some stuff that I'm saving that I haven't bought yet um, from Walmart, but it's for betting. But and I haven't bought it yet, but that's, what that's time was for me. Around what time did you guys make those purchases? Around what that time? When? And what day? Um, Friday or Saturday? Around what time? I don't know. Was daylight still up? Or was it dark? I believe it was daylight. Okay. Before dinner? After dinner? Before lunch? After lunch? Uh, I would say after lunch. I don't really, I don't wear a watch and I don't really, okay. Okay. I don't pay. But you got a watch on your phone, you know, it seems like you always have a lot of time on your phone. But I don't, I, my phone is, I don't always have, my phone is normally dark. Well, well so you, so it sounds like you're always on the phone, you know, you, you use your phone a lot. I do, it, but it, I don't it, it, it just, I don't understand, it's time. like she has a perfectly capable computer at her house. And then you guys use your phone. To make such a big purchase, we've done that before. I mean, it's we've sit in her TV room and do things, a, a lot of different things on my phone. She likes my phone. I mean, it's nothing unusual. It's faster than the one that's in there because she hates how slow it is, and it's. But it's nothing unusual about it. Anytime I make purchases, I use my phone. How about the laptop? Her laptop. I don't. Judy bought her that laptop. I I actually thought she had it with her because she's normally in the TV room, and the detective is the one who found it underneath her bed. I did, I didn't know that it was there at the house. I thought she had it with her. But that's something that Judy bought her. I didn't, I don't have anything to do with the laptop. Okay. I know she doesn't like the laptop because it has Windows 8 on it and she hates Windows 8. She refuses to use it. But she has like an iPad or a tablet, anything like that? Um, she has, it was a little one, an iPad. Okay. Yeah. Um, she has one of those. It was also with the laptop, which I thought she had with her. Because that's normally in her TV room. That's the reason I thought she had it with her. But he found it under her bed. But I, again, that's something that she does. Okay. And I think that's just mainly got like books and solitaire or yeah, gotcha. stuff like that on there. She knows how to use that pretty good? On yeah. stands it pretty good? No, no. No. She even needs all like to turn her on? She, she, doesn't, she doesn't like turning either one of them on. Oh, wow. Gotcha. I mean, she hates Windows 8 that much. Um, I don't think I've seen her use the laptop and and the iPad or did Judy bought her. I haven't seen her use that since probably the beginning of the year. She just doesn't she doesn't like it. I mean, and she's not gonna tell any Judy she's not gonna tell Judy her feelings. I did think she did take it with her, but
You've been completely sincere with me this whole time? Yes, sir. I know we cleared up some stuff that was kind of cloudy before. Yes, sir. I am. And you put it on the table. Yes, sir. I am. Okay. And you swear that everything you have told me has been the truth? Yes, sir. Okay. You swear? I swear. Okay. Hand to God. If I can help my mom technically, I always have. I try to teach her. I write stuff down for her. But when she gets overwhelmed, I'm like, Mom, here, just let me do it. You tell me. But when it comes to the numbers and stuff like that, you need to put this, 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 and this in. And just hit continue or submit whatever it says. And then it, we go from there. And then that's it. And then I keep her updated. But there is no jewelry I need. I do not need a full length mirror. And I have absolutely no use for a 50 inch TV when I have a 42 inch TV that I'm taking with me. Did you guys pick that up already? You guys were, no. Got delivered to the house already or? She requested for it to be delivered. Why didn't want to guess there? Do you know? I don't know what date she picked. No. Okay. I'm going to throw something at you right now. I'm going to share this with you, okay? Mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you think happened to your mom? You think she's with Rose? I want to believe she is, yes. Okay. You said you, that you want to believe that she's with Rose, so that means that you don't believe she's with Rose. Why do you think right now all of that you you want to believe that she's with Rose? I want to believe with Rose because if she's with Rose, then she's okay. If she's not with Rose, then my fear is... What's your fear? She's not okay. And I don't want to think that. In what way that she's not okay? Somebody's hurt her. Somebody is hurting her. Somebody is holding her and not letting her go. she's not going to believe she's with Rose and she's okay. And that y'all are going to bring her home. I don't want to think of the other things. It's too hard for me to think of the other things. I want to have faith that I want to believe that she's with Rose and y'all are going to find her and bring her home. Safety. And stand her in our living room so me and my sister can go. You scared the hell out of us. Don't ever do it again. That's what I want to believe. I don't want to believe anything else. If I believe anything else, I'll curl up into a ball and. Never stop crying. That's why I'm looking. You don't know where your mom is at right now. You have no idea. Then. You know you will tell me, right? Yes. If I even had a clue or hint or a, anything. I would tell you in part. I would ask you to send everybody to go get her. They have absolutely no idea. I wish I did. Well, would you find your mom? She's 
been on the house the whole time? My mom's been at the house the whole time. But she's dead. What? Your mom been at the house this whole time. And she's dead. Mm -hmm. She's she passed. No. No, 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 no. He's been in the backyard the whole time. No. in the backyard. No, 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 no. She was buried in the backyard the whole time. No, no, no. And flowers placed on top of her. No. for me to lie to you, Amy. No. Telling you the truth. We're in the backyard. Your mom, your mom mm -hmm. is passed, mm -hmm. died, is dead. No. And was buried in the backyard of her own house. No. And then they put flowers they just natural flowers, fake plastic flowers on top of her with fresh soil to make it seem that it was a nice beautiful garden. <laughs> Who would do that, something like that to this sweet old lady? Hmm? Who would do that to her? She only served it. No, she didn't. I don't know. Hmm? I don't know. She didn't deserve that. My mother was a Christian woman. She's a good woman. She did not deserve that. Trying to figure out. She was buried. She was buried. And they put flowers on top.
my man pretending he's coming back. She's nothing but good to everybody. I don't understand myself. That's the reason why I'm trying to get talk to you. For you to, to be able to tell me without holding anything back and be completely truthful and tell, to figure out what, you, what happened to your mom. What's the reason why this happened to your mom? I don't know of any reason why this would happen to my mother. My mother has never done anything to anybody for them to do that. I know you've never met my mother, but she has never done anything to anybody for them to do that to her. She is a decent, good Christian woman that would give you her shirt off of her back. There is nothing she wouldn't do for her friend. My mother didn't deserve that. And there is nobody that I know that would do that to her. Or would have any reason to do that to her. I don't, she's never made, I don't know anybody she's made mad. I don't know. I don't know. Now you understand why it was so important for me to confirm and reconfirm where you've been, who you were with, and stuff like that. You thought I did that to my mom. I'm not saying that you that you did it to your mom. It just this how severe this investigation, how deep just got into right now. I'm trying to cover all my tracks. Every entrance, every exit, every window, every crack, everything of this investigation. You understand what I mean? And that's the reason why I'm asking you to be truthful, completely truthful with me and tell me where you were, who you were with, you know, what time was this, what time was that. I understand. They just went from a missing person investigation to a homicide, to a murder. This went from uh, another human being taking the life of another human being. A homicide, a murder. My mother has never done anything to deserve to meet you. She's a nobody but capable of taking out of your life. Where's the bank card that you used yesterday to withdraw the money? Uh, Where's I got the house? I believe it's in my purse. Is it your purse? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that bank card has your mom's name on it. Mm -hmm. okay. Have you ever taken money from your mom? Never. Have you ever taken advantage of your mom 
income situation, knowing that your mom, you know, loves you very much, um, babies you a little bit more than your other siblings, and you use that to take advantage of her. Because yeah. for me, I know me growing up, you know, I knew I knew what kind of face and what kind of excuse to tell my parents yeah. for them to buy me stuff. You guys ever argue about money? Mm -hmm. about, fin about finances? No. Accusing mom you spending too much money? Amy you spending too much money? No. We never did. Understand this, Amy. I don't even understand this. How can I help what you? person took out the time and energy to hurt an innocent older female who loves her daughter very much? Her daughters. I know she loves her other daughter. Yeah. How many kids she has total? How many? Two. Two. Who loves bored little girls very much will do whatever she can for her daughters and this is the way that her life ended. I don't know. Hurt and buried in her own backyard. And then put soil on and then fake flowers. They really, damn, and somebody really thought this through. I don't know. I don't know. But then the thing is that they thought it, thought it through, but then just, just forgot a couple of little details. See, that person thought that, she, that he or she thought of everything, but left a couple of details out. That's a good thing, right? Mm hmm Very good thing. Because that's when the, the, the forensic part opens up, you know, the evidence part opens up. Right. You know, we'll be able to put everything together right. and put that puzzle together. Right. That's done. That's a good thing. Mm hmm Very good thing. But I don't know anybody that would do that. And I'm certain my mother doesn't know anybody who would do that. Just trying to figure this out. <coughs> you know, that's what that's what we're trying to do. I about Carrie? Do you think we will do anything like that? God, no. There's no way. Carrie loved my mother. He 
Chinese type person, he came and stand, if he sees a, a man yell at a woman, there is absolutely no way, no. Not possible. I wouldn't be around to my life. Going back to the purchases at Walmart. You stated that you hope your mom purchased those things yes. to do the, the transaction online. You, you said that you that she wanted you to she wanted the items to come to the house, be delivered to the house, you said? Yes. Okay. But you have no idea when they're going to get there. Mm -hmm. okay. Why is your phone showing that, he, that you've been tracking the packages? I haven't been tracking the packages. You have my phone. Mm -hmm. You have my phone since yesterday. How, how could I be tracking the packages? I don't know. That's what your phone is showing. I, I, there's no way for me to track the packages. You have my phone. Okay. I can't track those packages. Not if you got it. I haven't been in the house. You've got my phone. There's no way for me to track the packages. I, I, just, I, I just give you the facts while your phone shows. You understand okay, what I mean? But, but I, mean I just give you the facts while your phone shows. Does that make sense? You understand what I mean? No, that, I'm just saying. I, I just give you the facts I understand. What, what your phone shows. That's all. I know, but what, you know? I showed is, what my phone is showing is I've been tracking the packages. You've had my phone. I've not been allowed in my house. I haven't had my phone. I still don't have my phone. The tracking shows that the last time your phone went into the website or tracking the packages was on the 20th before law enforcement was contacted? No. Okay. I'm, again, I'm just giving you the facts. Okay. Or what your phone states. Okay, but no. You understand what I mean? It just... I, I understand. I'm going based on what your phone says. I, I, I understand, but no. Okay. I can tell you flat out, no. There was no reason for me to track them. Unless she asked me to. And obviously she didn't. So I would have no reason to track the packages. They weren't mine. It's so weird. It was the last phone call. Oh, actually, somebody heard your mom was at 8 o'clock on Saturday, which that was the 19th. And then, somehow, nobody had heard from your mom since Saturday night. And then, all of a sudden, mysteriously, your phone shows that somebody mysteriously track the package that or the order that your mom made either Friday or Saturday that you said that she that you helped her with that purchase. And like you just said right now that you only will track the package if your mom will ask you to do it. Am I right or wrong? You Is that accurate? Is, well that's not accurate. Wait a minute. Okay, so you're saying that my phone is showing that package was Everything on phones shows a, a timestamp. Uh, what yeah, I say I, is date yeah, and time. I understand that part. Okay, the timestamp that shows the last person that went into a web, the website tracking, trying to track the package 
was on the 20th. It shows the time before law enforcement was contacted. So that was before we made contact with you and your sister. That was not me. I can tell you that was not me. And then right before that, you know, right now, you know, you say that you will not track it. You'll not be tracking the package on your own unless your mom will ask you to do it. Right. That's how I know it was not me. She made the order. And Amy. that was... Amy. I know what you're going to Let's be, let's be sincere go. with each other. I, Listen to me. Bottom line right now. Bottom line right now, Amy. Right now, Amy. Your mother was murdered. And I'm trying to get to the bottom of it. I know that. I'm asking you some simple question that I got the facts to follow to be able to sustain it. And you're still lying to me. I'm not lying. I have How about a simple question. I have not tracked the package. Did I go on Walmart's website? Maybe. But did I track the package? No. I could have gone on Walmart's website. It's not unusual for me to do that. But did I track the package? No. Your mom was murdered in her own house. Wrapped up in garbage bags. And buried in the back yard. I don't need to know this. And then... They, took a de they were decent about it to put soil, fresh soil, and then put some flowers on it, on her grave. The person who did that has more than enough time to do and plan this. The person who did it had a reason why to do it. Your mom wasn't picked randomly. She was targeted. And the person who committed this knew your mother. And your mother knew that person. Your mother found something out about that person and confronted that person. And this is what happened. This is the result of that confrontation. That person knows that time is on their side and took their time to clean everything up. Rock your mom, your mom's body in plastic garbage bags go to the backyard dig a hole please drag your mom's body stop to that hole please stop and bury her <sighs> and probably out of respect Let's put some fresh soil on it and some and some fake flowers, some plastic flowers on. Please Amy, stop. you gotta talk to me, Amy. You I, have to talk to me, Amy. I didn't have anything to do with that. You have to talk to me, Amy. I'm talking to you. I did not have anything to do with you that. You need to stop talk you need to stop lying. You need to stop telling me everything that you know. And you mean to be completely honest with me for the sake of your mother, Amy. For the sake of your mom. Now is the time, Amy, that you know that mom is not going to come back home. You have an opportunity to stop being honest with me and fix things up and be completely honest with me for us to be able to do our job.
That's the only thing I can tell you, huh, Amy? That's the only thing I can say. I don't know anything about any of that. I don't know anybody who would do that. I certainly wouldn't do that, especially to my own mother. Uh, people sit in this same chair. I know. Telling me the same thing. I maybe. know. I know. And you can't even be sincere with me about some other questions that I have asked you. I had to give and more and more and put more on the table for me to be able to get it out from you. I had nothing to do with what happened to my mother. I don't know anybody that would do that to my mother. I do not have confrontation with my mother. I would benefit none from this. At all. You got access to her bank account. You got access to her financial situation. Credit cards, bank accounts. If she's dead, no I do not. My sister does. My sister has control over everything. Well, you took out money. With her permission. Took $2,500, paid for she the higher trip. Took, I don't know, another $600 two times through the year, another $400. That she gave me. You know what I mean? She gave me that. Now you're sitting me here that your, your sister is the one that got all the benefits of it? She takes, she has the, and according to what mom has set up, Judy does the financial power of attorney, all that stuff. Not me. Interesting. Very interesting. But I had absolutely nothing to do with what happened to my mom. Very interesting. Why is that interesting? Just just look at all, all, the, all, all the money spent this last week. All the money spent on this last week. Money taken out of our account on, Friday, on, on, on Sunday, which I had to confront you about it because you would not tell me about that. You told me from the beginning, that you went from the house to Westgate to me, whatever her name is, and come back straight home. And I told you why. Yeah, I know, I know. And I had her permission to do it. But then after that, then, you know, it finally came out that you left the house, made a ride on 192, made a U turn, stopped in front of the junkyard, talked to Marie for I don't know how long, then you went to the bank, then when you went to the old storage place, then you went to talk well, to the lady, to or something State. like that, and, and then came come back home. You understand? You have control of her, her finances, you have uh, control of her email, you have control of her credit card, you have control of her debit card, you have control of her bank, checks, you name it. You had an open book of your mom, finances. I didn't have control over her checking, I mean, her checks or her, I don't have her credit cards. GM up, they'll be canceled. So, I don't know where you think I have control. Before you went to Gainesville on Saturday, did you stop at any gas station? No. Here in town, in St. Cloud, mm -hmm. Kissimmee. Mm -hmm. I'm not lying to you. 
I'm not. There's some stuff in your story, Amy, I'm going to be completely sincere with you, that is still a little bit cloudy and fuzzy to me. Okay. Jess? Tell me what's cloudy and fuzzy. There's no reason from the beginning for you to hide all those things from me. I've been throwing you, the whole time we've been sitting here today, I've been throwing you facts at you to try to confirm where you've been, where you haven't been. And when I give you almost the whole thing, that's when you go, K -k -ling. oh, that's right, yeah, I stopped at that place. Stop at that place. Yeah, I did this, I did that. How do you think that made me feel? What do you think makes me feel, you know, questioning myself, I want to trust Amy, I want to believe her, but I can't. It sounds in your mind. And then, I get hit, it feels like a baseball bat right to my chest, while they found the house. How about you, Mom? I still own that back porch, not knowing that she was there. I think that it makes me feel. When you were standing on that back porch? I was smoking a cigarette. When? On Sunday. What time? After my sister left, I went outside, smoked a cigarette. And I'm staying there, and I had no idea she was there. How do you think that makes me feel? I don't know. You tell me. I'm being completely open on this side. I was staying here smoking a cigarette, and I had no idea that my mother was in the backyard that buried. And then I went inside, laid down, and took a nap while my mother was laying in the backyard, buried. Ron, what, what time was that that your sister left? Do we have to ask her? I don't know. How long do you... you 12.30. How, how long Maybe. did your sister stay out of the house um, from the time she got home? Joy was supposed to call at noon. Um, by 12.15, she hadn't, so my sister left between 12.15 and 12.30. After she left, I stepped out and smoked a cigarette, went back inside, changed clothes, and laid down, watched 10-15 minutes of TV and fell asleep and woke up to Judy hollering my name with a law enforcement officer. And I didn't even look at what the clock said. I just jumped up real quick. I thought they had found mom. That was my first thought. That they had located her. Again, who would do something like this? That's the question everybody's asking, Amy. An animal? A stick animal? Somebody you think that has some psychological, some problems or some emotional problems, you think? Good. I don't know what people, people. I don't know what a person 
thinks or what goes to their, their mind when they do something like that? Based on my training and experience, Amy, as a law enforcement officer, as a police officer, in every situation where somebody gets hurt, where somebody argue, argue or somebody fights, there's always three sides of each story. It takes two people for something, most of the things happen. Then you got one story that belongs to him or her, then another story that belongs to the other side, and right in the middle, when something happened, which the middle one is the real one, and that if there's any other witnesses or any video to prove, the only person that knows is God. You understand what I mean? Yes. And in life, everybody makes mistakes. We're human beings. We're not perfect. Murder is not a mistake. You understand what I mean? Well, there's some things in life, emotionally and mentally, that takes over, that blinds people. Follow either an argument or a disagreement. You know, somebody getting caught doing something that they're not, they're not supposed to be doing to be on somebody else's back. Somebody got jealous. Somebody, you know, that, that heat of the moment. Somebody do bump into somebody else or something that will take that person to the edge for that person to take those horrible actions and hurt a human being which sometimes end up in taking that person's life. The good thing about life is that life always gives you a second chance. And God always forgives. And it's up to that person to take that opportunity to make things right, to clear their mind, clear their conscience, and take that evil or whatever thing inside that is carrying them out, holding them back from keep moving forward to be happy with life. However, that person needs to make that decision, needs to take that road to stand up and say, here's what really happened. We got into, we got into it, it was an argument, stuff like that, I lost it. Blah, 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 blah. You understand what I mean? Then when I notice, I freaked out. Based on my training experience, always ends up like that, most of the times. It's up to that person to take a stand, make that decision to come out with the truth. Now, I'll tell you this right now. I have seen the change in people, the relief. They feel forgiven. Not, yet, not, not just by just God. By the person they hurt. By the family members. But if that person doesn't forgive themselves. And take the opportunity to make things right. I think it's too late. It's too late. You got That person has one more opportunity. To make things right. If that person doesn't take the opportunity, that's up to that person. But that person cannot later on turn around and say, I never had the opportunity. That person can never deny, I never had the opportunity to tell my side of the story. Say, this is what really happened. It took me this, I got this emotion and stuff like that, it took me to the edge. Okay. The only thing I'm telling you, Amy, is that I need for you to start being honest with me. There's still a couple blank spots that are blank that you haven't been completely truthful for me. Which are? Where you been the whole weekend? Saturday, Chieflin. Sunday, here. Okay. Sunday night, here, literally mm -hmm. in this building. Mm -hmm. And at my dad's. Friday, 
I was at home. And you did tell me that you received phone calls from your mom on Saturday night, right? One. Okay, a phone call. And it was after what, 8, 8.30 you said? No, it was between 8.20 and 8.25. Okay. And then, what I could recall, and correct me if I'm wrong, you also stated that you attempted to call your mom. And because she tried to get in contact with her, but you said that it will say, will not ring, it will say, this, this caller doesn't have the voicemail set up and you can leave a message. Correct. Okay. And how many times have you tried to call her back? Once. Once. And that was Saturday night? Yes. And once it said that, I mean, I know that my sister tried throughout the night, but if the mailbox isn't set up, it's not set up. So. Okay. The only thing I could hope is that she would call. I'm going to step out real quick, right? I'll be right back.
you need to use the restroom or anything like that? No. Are you good? You sure? Alright, be right back. Amy, what medication is that? Um, this is um, for my heart. Okay. And this is for my blood pressure. And I was supposed to pick another one up today, but I have to do it by 6 o'clock, and obviously I don't think that's going to happen. And you have it with you just because you need it you take it as needed, or do you um, take it at a certain time? This one is at 1, and this is at twice a day, and I have to take them at certain times. I understand. And they brought them down to me, down to my dad's house, because it was time for me to take them. Okay. So when they came by, when y'all came by, I just picked up everything and brought them with me. Okay. Because I was under the understanding that I was going to get my phone and then going home. I understand. Some, some crazy developments happened, like... More than crazy. Do you know what the, the the issue is? I think is um is the the lack of logic that's going into what you're saying, and and, and the 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 untruths that you told us already. That's the that's the that's the biggest problem, because when someone lies to you, especially in a circumstance and like like this, I know, and I corrected it with him. No, you 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 corrected. Yeah, sure, but you got a that looks like you're hiding I know, something. I know. And and I'm not. Well, let me tell you. And I know it looks like it, and it looks bad. This is. I just want to tell you the way I see it. Okay. Um, You've always been the blunt one. Uh, and I have that reputation. That's, that's fine. I, it's, I, all, I, I don't, it's all I, me coming out, though. No, I like blunt, so okay. please. Friday, um, the 18th, um, you make a call to your mom um, late at night, about 11 p.m. It doesn't appear that there's any talking going on, but you call her number from your phone. On the 18th? On Friday, the 18th, late at night, probably about 11 p.m., your phone makes a phone call to your mother's phone. Okay? Cell phone? House phone? Uh, I'd have to check on that. 
one or the other. Um, I don't know where you were Friday night. I was at home. Okay, so. So was she. I understand. I'm just telling you that this is Brett telling you what he's seeing, okay? Okay. It's, that's weird. Saturday, there is no communication between your phone, your mother's cell phone, or the house phone. See, that's what I don't understand because there All was. Right. I've been, and I'm having trouble understanding it too because um, these, what I know from these records, I've been a detective for 20 years. All right. Now, recently, in the last 10 years, we've had the magic of cell phones. And I tell you what it is, is cell phone records are accurate. They tell you exactly what it is. It can go up into a court of law. Um, the custodian of records will come and testify and show you how accurate these records are. I've never seen them inaccurate. And this isn't your phone I'm looking at. These are the records from the phone company. I understand that, but okay. there, was, there, there should be a record okay. from a call from my mother shoulda, coulda, and then from me to her. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, there's not. There should be, though. Okay, but there's not. This is just me, what I'm seeing, okay? Okay. okay. So we move on, um, and now it's, it's Saturday. And Saturday, a lot of what appears to be weird stuff is going on. Um, your mother buys you a plane ticket. I understand that she, she'd be more than happy to do that for you, okay? Um, we got a ton of purchases online. Um, we got a wire transaction um, for $2,500 from your mother's account to yours. Not wire transaction, check, but okay. You know what I'm saying. Electronical, electronic transaction. Mobile first. deposit. Right. Um, so we're, we're talking almost like five grand in one day. Okay. Then you say that Wait a minute. no, the twenty-five that went into my account was for me. I understand that. I'm just talking amounts of money but added the up. The purchases that that was with my mother's. I'm telling you how we're looking at it because it's coming from your phone. This is what Brett's seeing. That's all I'm telling you. Okay, but she had me. I I heard the whole thing. Okay. I know, I've heard you explain it before. I don't okay. want to explain myself. Now. Okay. 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 I'm sorry. So we have all that money that, that's shifted hands, this is what I'm seeing, on Saturday. Now you say that Carrie and you call one another. Mm -hmm. um, I'd have to look at the records, but I don't see that call anywhere. I don't know when you made the plans. I don't know. It sounded kind of spontaneous that you guys decided. Yeah. So that when I'm thinking around 3, 2, 3 o'clock, you guys decided you were going to get together because you said you were out of the house by five. Yes. Okay. So I'm thinking about at least. He would have had to. After he noon. left at three in order to be there by five. Right. So I don't see that communication, and I'll have to double check that one because I don't. I don't remember seeing that. Then you tell me last night the route that you guys always take. Mm -hmm. Okay. You have a GPS that's still in your purse. He has a GPS. And the way that the, 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 the uh, not the GPS, a, a, uh, a transponder, a, a, a e-pass. I didn't take it with me. You, but this is, I'm going to get to that. Okay. You have an e-pass and Carrie has an e-pass. Mm -hmm. So you guys, as far as you say, you go up the turnpike. And let's just stop there. You guys go up the turnpike. You say that he goes through one transponder. One, one area, and then he pays for the rest, mm -hmm. okay? Um, what I know about the turnpike is that no matter if you go under there or you go into the stall to pay, there's they, still they a reader tag. there. There's right. a reader at everywhere you go. They take a picture of tag. And we're not getting any of that from your e-pass or his. Now, I say yours because your e-pass is still in your purse inside the house. I okay. put it back in there, but I took it okay. out. <laughs> That's what doesn't make sense to me. Um, that you have, you got home, and this is where one of the lies comes in. You tell us you got home at eleven, but then you said you got home earlier than that. For some reason, you decided okay. not to tell us the truth. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's. What is the truth to that statement? What time did you get home? Nine in the morning. So you left. You at both seven. left at 7 o'clock. Yeah. You get here. Does he get out and go in the house? No. 
He drops you off. You immediately go inside. Is your mom there? No. Okay. Your mom's not there. You say that the keys are inside the home. That you don't have keys to the car, that your mom has the keys. And you find the spare keys inside the home. Is that right? The spare key was on the counter in right. the kitchen. So you would But I had to go through the gate right. into the back door. So the house. house is locked up. Yeah, and I went through the gate. I opened it. Mm -hmm. I have a key to the house. And that's important that the house is locked up. Yes. I'm going to get to that in a minute. And I saw that there was a key there. Okay. I Let put me my continue. purse down and. You immediately get on the phone. Um, you know the car's there. Mm -hmm. You know your mom's not there. You have this, and I'm going to call it a suspicious phone call that your mom gives you apparently that's not on the record and she tells you something that she's going to California to console a woman who's, whose husband just died and she's that driving. That was Saturday. Okay, but what I'm saying is you come into the empty house knowing that that occurred the night before. Yeah. Okay, and the first thing you do is you call up Tasha for some cigarettes instead of wondering where your mom's at. So. You get in the car, you drive, this is what you tell us first of all, and you do the tr the cigarette transaction. Well, I had text Tasha. I understand. This is just what I'm seeing, okay? You you go and, and you say you trade the cigarettes and I come right back. This is what your first story is, okay? Mm -hmm. Then we start getting acts, uh, 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 we're, we start getting facts and, and we start understanding situations. And, and now we're looking at it, and we're now we're looking at it going, what is going on here? I okay. changed my story. So now we have your mother, somebody spending your mother's money on Saturday. Now we, we have a couple uh, purchases on Sunday who we find out is you. Not purchases, but a withdrawal from a bank along with other purchases as well, I might add. Um, and we have you with your mother's card withdrawing four hundred dollars from the bank. Did I have permission from? I From how? How do you have permission? Your mom's not even there. I had got permission from her. She gave it to me on Friday. She... That doesn't make sense. Well, it may you not got make... You got permission to use it Sunday? Here's my card. I'm going to be leaving unexpectedly. So here's my card. She gave it to me on Friday. She said you can withdraw four hundred dollars. That doesn't make I sense. I didn't know she was leaving on Saturday. Okay, I'm just telling you how I feel. And I I understand that, but she said here's I, my card. I, that does not make sense. And not only she gives you the card to hold, she doesn't think she's going anywhere. She gets this emergency. I don't know that. Okay. Well, she gets an emergency situation where you said, well, she kind of sounded like a little, maybe she was upset. And then she bolts to, she bolts to Colorado within, within minutes because your sister runs to the, the house and there's no one there. Right. Okay. Then you say, okay, I lied about when I got home. I still don't understand why you did that. Uh, I, I did hear that you didn't want to look like um, a bad person, you didn't want to do that, but if she gave you permission to get $400 out of the bank, how is that going to make you look like a bad person? You don't even talk to your sister. You don't talk to your father. Who is going to call you a bad person for that? Now this makes me think, Amy, this makes me think there's I some... I talk to my dad. There, you barely talk to your dad. Is, is it every day? Not every day. Okay, but... how is he going to know you got $400 out of the bank? And why would he care? Your mother gave you permission. You know what that makes me think? They think, there's, so, there's something going on here that I don't understand. I still don't understand it, but we're going to get to that. Okay? You go to the bank. Did you go to a gas station somewhere and get something? Either the day, I think it was on Saturday. I think it was in the morning. Maybe around, I made a Monday. Any day Saturday, did you go to the gas station? Did you get no. gas, make a no. purchase, anything? No, I did not drive the car on Saturday. Okay, because we're someone's giving us that there was there was a different purchase made. Now I haven't got the video on that yet, but that's okay, coming. I didn't drive the car on Saturday. Okay. You didn't drive the car all on Saturday. No. 
So then, let's move on. It's Sunday. Um, you're home now. You've been home since 9 o'clock. Your mother's not there. Your sister calls you and say, no. are you home yet? No. You call your sister and you say, I will call you when I get home? Yes. And this was at, we can get the time off the report, but this is... Um, I call her or I text her. You text her, that's fine. Uh, you communicate with her and say, I'll call you when I'm near the house, 15 minutes from the house. But you were already home. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is another thing I'm thinking. Okay, this is kind of strange. Maybe it's not for you, but it would be for me. So then, she never gets a call. She pulls up in the driveway, and you come walking out of the house. No, I did call her and say, I, I did call her. Okay. And say, and told her that I, I'm, I'm almost there. I'm telling you what I'm, what I'm looking at, because that's not the story I got. I mean, you, you got to remember, I've talked to way more people than you. Okay, okay so, so there's did, a difference between your story and other people's story. Okay, but on my phone it should show that I called her. Okay, I can double check, that's fine. And All said, right? it, yes, and then, yeah, I did. But according to you, we can't trust your phone or the report. But so, I did call her. So then. You can trust her phone. So that, I trust all the reports, believe me. Mm -hmm. So then. I don't. Oh, well, of course you don't, because it's making you out to be a bandit right now. No, I don't trust them because there's things missing that I know should be there. We've already established that these reports have made you give us some more truths. That you were lying for no reason, unless I can think of, is you're trying to hide something. I'm not. Now, I'm going to get into some uh, the terrible thing that occurred. Um, we, we have a dead body. Please don't. I, I'm, not, I'm not going to get into, into specifics, okay? He, um, he I don't, already, I don't, he's already... I'm assuming that it's your, your relative, your mother, okay? He's already told me. I know. I'm not going to get into details, but this is what I want to say. Um, a person who breaks into a home, and I, and I don't know if this is what you're thinking or not, a person that breaks into a home and commits a horrible act doesn't clean up like that and then not do anything for advancement. Not only that, they don't make it look like your mother left to go somewhere. That doesn't happen. I can tell you in 10 years of homicide with every, every presentation I've ever gone to, that doesn't happen unless it was somebody close. I'm not saying, Amy, that you did anything. But what I'm saying is, with everything I'm seeing, with all these facts and all this craziness going on, it makes me think that you're not giving us everything you know. And I can tell you one thing, the evidence will prevail. It will prevail. There's no getting around it. And for the person that steps into this room and lies and lies and lies and lies, and then at the end, the evidence prevails, guess what? There's no more talking. There's no more saying, this is what happened. It didn't happen like you think. There's no more of that. It's just done. Because we don't go back. We don't go back and talk. We try to reason with people. We try to give them the benefits of, of coming without everything you know. If, if he had something to do with it, if he didn't. But I tell you one thing, Amy. I know, deep down in my heart, that you're holding things back from us. But I'm not. You are. I'm not. I, I'm telling you, Amy, you're not going to make me believe that. You're not going to make me believe that someone entered that home and then locked up afterwards and cleaned up afterwards and made everything look pretty. Whether you're trying to protect somebody, no. whether you're trying to protect yourself, no. Well, then I don't understand why you'd be hiding all this stuff. I'm not that, hiding anything. It, yeah, I'm telling you that's the way it looks, Amy. I, but I'm not hiding anything. I am not. You're not telling me everything I you know. I don't know what happened. I'm not hiding anything. I didn't 
do anything to my mother. I didn't say you did. And I didn't clean the house. I didn't make everything look pretty. I didn't say you did. I didn't do anything. Okay, maybe you did. Tell me who did. I don't know. I wish I could. I, if I knew, I would tell you in a heartbeat. If I'm wrong about this, I'd be very surprised. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I hope you are right. But I tell you what, the evidence will prevail. It will prevail. And it's going to show that I... I, I hope so. I... Because I, I would never do that. I don't... I'm not saying you would. I, but I wouldn't protect somebody who would do that. I don't I wouldn't even... I wouldn't even want to know somebody who would do that. Well, you know what? I would say the same thing. I just... In your job, you can't. No, listen. But with all these circumstances that surround this whole horrible thing, it, the, guess who's the shining star? Beyond horrible. Who is the shining star? That's you, Amy. I'm not a shining star. I'm telling you that you're the biggest person right now. There's things you can't understand. There's things that you wouldn't understand until we had to call you out on and prove to you that that was not the way it happened. And there's going to be more. There's going to be more things that we're going to say, you know what, Amy? You had your chance. This is it. But we, we'll do it that way. It doesn't matter to me. It really doesn't. Because in this day of time, it makes my job easy. It really does. Okay. I didn't do anything to my mother. I don't know who did. I wouldn't know. Isn't it crazy that Carrie uses his e pass one time and then doesn't use it again on the way up and on the way back? Which we're going to get video of if it actually happened. I can't tell you why he does what he does. I know, but I'm gonna. What I'm saying is, I, I think that we're gonna. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it or not. But one of the possibilities is is that might be that might be a, a fib of some kind that you guys would went no. and paid through the. I'm just telling you. You said no before to the to the stuff that you already came out with. You said the same thing, Amy. Did you not? You said last night. You said no, no way. But today you go. Yeah. Yeah, you got me. I didn't want to look like a bad person because my mom gave me permission to get four hundred dollars out of the bank. I heard you tell Detective Guevara that you were gonna bring your T V with you to Ohio. Yeah. How are you gonna get it there? It's gonna be I'm gonna hire a U Haul and have them load. Did you it? call a lock service at all, a locksmith yesterday or the day before? No, I was going to. For what? I wanted to have some keys made. Okay, for who? For what? I'm just asking. Well, because I couldn't remember. I wanted Judy wanted a key, and I couldn't remember if I had another key. Okay. So I was. Did you have another key? I did find another key. That's the reason I never called them. Okay, that's fine. Then what's the storage? Are you? Are you getting a storage service of some kind? I was going to look to see about getting a small one because there are going to be certain items that I don't take. And the one there on Old Canoe Creek Road, they have really small ones, and I was trying to see how much they cost. But there are going to be some things that I don't take. I don't know what to make of this. So, I mean... That was the only reason I was looking at that. Nothing the sinister. Card, the card that you used to get the $400 with, you told the, the, the Guevara that it was in your purse. It's not in your purse. It was. There was another, uh, there was an American Express, I think, that belonged to your mom that was in your purse. American Express? Let me clarify that. American Express, the Leah Hawkins. It does appear to be 
expired, but that was in your purse. I don't know why. So you don't know where the card is for the uh, Central Florida Credit Union? I thought I'd put it back in my purse. Where would it be if it wasn't in your purse? I was driving in a car. Hmm? I was driving in a car. So it might be in the car? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I thought... Is that something you would normally do, is just leave it in the car? Well, no, but I mean... But you would put it in your purse, right? Well, if I reached over... It and inadvertently dropped it? Yeah. Okay, I'll check on that. Okay. I mean, I thought I did put it back, you know, but mm -hmm. if I dropped it, I dropped it. I mean, I haven't looked for it again, so I wouldn't know. Because I haven't towed the car since. So what would you do if you were me? I don't know what to do. House wasn't broken into. Everything was locked up, you're right. The key that was, I did look for a key that was outside, mm -hmm. just not there. It's not logical. I know I keep saying that. I know. The whole thing's not logical. Well, she used to keep a key in where the hose wraps around. There's a little door. Mm -hmm. There's a frog inside there. She always kept a key in there just in case she locked herself out. I locked myself out. Mm -hmm. I went to look, get it because I was going to give it to my sister. It's not there. All right, that, that, that might be. But that doesn't mean my mother didn't right. take it right. and move it. Right. I mean. And the whole thing is, it just doesn't make sense. That's all there is to it. I agree. It's not random. There's nothing random about it. I agree that it makes absolutely no sense. But I know I had nothing to do with it. I know I don't know anybody that would do that. I wouldn't even want to know somebody who would be capable of that. And I don't know what else to tell you. Your actions don't make sense, Amy. What do you mean? It doesn't make sense that you would not be questioning your mother about this sudden trip for an 80 year woman to take with such a sort suspicious communication I don't, to you. It just doesn't make sense to me. I'm not a person who questions. <laughs> okay, but that's not, that's not normal. For me, it is. My sister is different. My mother is different. My dad is different. I'm, it, for me, it's normal. And I've always been that way. So if you want to say it's not normal, okay, fine. But for me, it's normal. I'm just telling you what it, look, it's just one of those. For me, it's normal. It's just another, it's another red flag. I mean, it's just weird. To me, it's not, to me, it's normal. It's not a red flag to me. It's just how I always am. You know, somebody says, well, why did they do this? I don't know. Did you <coughs> ask? No. Why not? I just didn't ask. That, that's me. To, me. to me, that's normal. That's how I've always been. So for me, it's not a red flag. It's just, it's just me. It's my personality. I, I don't know how else to explain it. Well, it's really it might as well not be because it doesn't make sense to me. It really doesn't. And I think that would be most people that it wouldn't make sense to. That's fine now. All right, I'll be back.
the ribs, okay? Um, oh, what's your name, actually? Amy. 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 And last name is Day, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we have a met. Um, I'm a detective over here, actually, in this same bureau with the other guy you're speaking to. I've never talked to you before, right? Um, I'm actually assisting out with the, with the case with your mother and stuff. Um, most of the time I've been at the house, at my family's house, you know, back and forth, that's where, I, where I've been. Um, so I haven't really got to sit down to talk to you and meet you. Huh? My house? Yes, that's where I've been. Um, so... In know, my sister's house? Your sister's house? No. Oh, you said my family's house. Too. You're talking about me, my mom, and yeah. me, my 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 mom's yeah, house. Yeah, yeah. Um, I know that um, she has been talking to you for a while and stuff. You know, just want to kind of. I'm sorry. I said I know she has been talking to you and stuff. I just want to kind of get the perspective, kind of, I know mm -hmm. you're here and and how the questions been going on. You know. Um, not that, you know, I'm going to be honest with you, since I haven't been here and spoken to you yet. Um, the, of course, there's reasons why we talk to people. We understand that, right? Mm -hmm. You know, there's a reason why you're here, mm -hmm. of course. Uh, there are certain things that, that we do as detectives. I mean, we've been doing this for years. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's kind of, you know, I, I don't know what you do. What do you do for a living? What's your profession? I'm a paralegal. A paralegal, okay. You feel so are pretty good at being at doing that job. Mm -hmm. You know a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and as you are with that, that's how we are with this. I know. You understand that? I know y'all are very good. So and this is reasons why why of course reasons why you're here. Because you're not just here for coincidence. You understand that? I understand. Okay. And um just knowing I mean I've been doing all just that been all day and stuff at your house. And um in the last couple of days, actually, and um, I've had listening to some interviews and talked to other people also. And um, I got to tell you that I mean, I'm gonna be honest. It, things just don't look good for you. You understand? The way things are all mixed up and and how stories are changing. You know, I know. But to be honest, it doesn't. Okay, that's that's why. You know, that's why you're here. Um, the same reason why we're here. This is what we do, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but all I gotta say is that life, in general, is hard. All right, it's not easy for anybody. It's not easy for us. It's not easy for on this side. It's not easy for you. Okay. We are. We're, we're all human, right? And as human beings, we are created to make mistakes. This is what we do. Right. I'm not perfect. I can sit here and look at you and tell me that I'm an angel. Okay, um, we've all made mistakes and done stuff that doesn't make us bad. It does not make us bad people. It doesn't. You know, sometimes we do stupid things that come to bite us in the butt. You know, and but that's part of being human. It's part of nature. It's part of us learning. It's part of us growing. It's part of us surviving as a species. It's just what we do. Um, I didn't kill my mother. Well, I'm not, I'm not going there, okay? I'm not going there. But all I'm telling you is that you're here for a reason and it doesn't look good, okay? So far, from what we've done, it doesn't look good at all. Alright? It doesn't. So, what we're trying to get to is. If there's. Something, anything, any person that you know that that is going to lead you to, to try to get you out of the situation you're in, it's going to be very, very, it's a very good idea to tell it. And, and I'm not BSing you. You understand? Yeah. I'm I'm telling you the truth. Okay. I, have, I don't have to come in here and talk to you. I know. You know, I, I'm on my own. No one sent me in here. I know. Okay. This is me just because I've been gone. I've been at the house. You know, I've been there. I was, I was there. 
Okay, this is what's up. I'm racking my brain. No, I got you. And I'm I'm trying to figure out what I can do to prove that I'm I didn't do anything wrong and that you know give y'all something that would prove to you without a doubt that it it's not me. I haven't done anything wrong. And I haven't I can't I haven't been able to think of anything. Let me ask you, do you miss your mother? Gosh, yes. Yeah, you miss her. My mother was my life. She was my best friend. There wasn't anything I wouldn't do for my mother. I would never hurt her. Never. If someone had a gun to my head, they would have to shoot me before I hurt my mother. Period. And I'm not BSing you. Honest to God. There isn't anything my mother wouldn't do for me. She stood by me when a lot of people would. And there is nothing I wouldn't have done for her. And I wish like hell that I would have stayed home Saturday. Because then maybe the mother's been happened. And I would thought my mother. A huge piece of me is now dead. That woman was more important to me than any member of my family. Now, as strong as you feel, I mean, you want to get to the bottom of what's going on just as much as we do. Yes, and that's why I've been trying to rack my brain, trying to figure out how. I don't know what I can do to prove that I didn't do anything or know anybody did anything or I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I don't know, but I want to get to the bottom of it. I want to be able to tell you guys something. Yeah. And I don't know what. I don't, I, I, I don't know what I can tell you that's going to help. I honestly don't. I've been trying. I know I screwed up when I didn't tell them the truth last night and correcting it. I know that threw a red flag up. I, and and I, I understand that. And me not asking my mother questions, they said that throws a red flag up. But it's just my personality. I'm, I'm not that person. If somebody tells me something, I go, okay, I don't ask them 500 questions. That's just not me. I never have been that way. Yeah. It, to me, it's not a red flag. It's just my personality. Yeah, so, but why, why wouldn't you want to tell the truth, though? I mean, that kind of... It's, it's just, it sounds vain. I know. It sounds vain. I was, I, I was afraid that, it would, that I would sound selfish that I was putting myself first before my mother. And I wasn't, but it's because I wasn't worried that something was wrong. Mm -hmm. But then after all of it happened, I thought I would sound selfish and I knew my sister would go ballistic on me. And so I didn't. I, didn't want to sound, I mean, I know that's stupid. I know it is. It's naive, it's immature, and I regret doing it. I wish I would have just said, this is what I did. And, you know, if my sister wanted to go ballistic on me, oh well, I'll be done with it. Mm -hmm. But I didn't. 
And I know I can't, I can say I'm sorry 500 times, but it's not going to change. It's not going to change anything. So. Did anybody else ever go to the house over there with you and hang out, or did she know? You mean? It's your mom's house. Did I ever invite anybody over? Yeah. No? Yeah. My mom was like that. She didn't like anybody being over there? So she didn't know anybody else? Well, I mean, Marie would come over, Grace across the street would come over, um, uh, the children of witnesses would come over. Any of your friends? No. No? Did you have any friends in the area? No. No? No. There's no one you talked to in the area? No? No. I don't really socialize with anybody in this area. I was just wondering, like, if you were going out of town, I was just wondering if someone knew that you were going to be out of town and stuff. No. Other than my mother, no. I'm not antisocial, I just... I don't like people knowing my business, and I... Most of the people that I knew when I was growing up and stuff like that have moved. Mm. I don't drink, so I don't go out. Um, and I don't, you know, just go to restaurants just to hang out, you know, that type of thing. Hang out with my mom. She's my best friend. What about your father? I talked to my dad. Um, him and I are close. And um, that's where I stayed last, well, from four until I came here. Um, but and his wife, Katie, um, who I love to death. And, um, but other than that, no. You get along with your father? Yeah. When was the last time you saw him? When they came and picked me, they picked me up from my dad's house. Yeah. And did you see your father all the time too or not? Well, when I was 12 or 13, my parents got divorced, so. Okay. Um, I, I would see him on and off, but um, I mean, I didn't. It wasn't that we we were. There was a period that we didn't speak. Yeah. But that was when I was a teenager and rebellion and mm -hmm. stupid. But um, then um, our relationship just got better and we grew closer. Mm -hmm. And you know. I wasn't as close to him as I was to my mother, but I only moved back in with my mother five years ago whenever I went to my divorce. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, but I value my dad's opinion and his advice, being very blunt, and so is Katie, and I appreciate that, and so, Normally, I will call and ask them their advice or their, you know, opinion on mm -hmm. something because I know they're going to tell me what I need to hear, not what I want to hear. So, when's the last time you shot a gun? Um, I shot Carrie's gun probably eight months ago. Carrie, Carrie's. Friend, mm -hmm. you guys boyfriend, girlfriend, like together. Yeah, sure. you know him for a long time. Thirty years. That's our kids. What kind of gun does he have? He has a fifty caliber. Fifty caliber. Mm -hmm. He collects them. Oh. But he keeps them locked up in a safe. Mm. So that's when we shot a gun was eight months ago. Mm -hmm. Do you know how long gunshot residue stays in her hand? You don't want to get swapped for a gunshot residue on your hands? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. That's good. Um, you have 
Do you have any guns in the house or weapons in the house, do you know? Um, I'm told my mother had a gun. Oh, you don't know if she had it or not? I knew she had one a long time ago that I hid. Um, and then she got another one, but apparently that one went missing, and I don't think she ever reported it. Okay. You hid the first one? Mm -hmm. Why'd you hide it for? Because I didn't think it was safe. Hmm. You know what kind of gun she had? Um, the one I hid? Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was like a 38. Okay. It was the one she replaced it with, you know? It was bigger. Okay. I don't know how. I, the, the barrel was longer. I, I don't know exactly what it was. Okay. When, when you hit it, where'd you hide that? The 38? Mm -hmm. in, in the garage. Um, in one of the bins. One of the bins? Mm -hmm. Is it still there? As far as I know, yes. Okay. Um, and what about the bigger gun? You haven't seen that in how long? Have you seen it? Or? She's the one who told me that one was missing. Okay. I don't know where she kept it. Um, she just told me that she had a gun, it, it was missing. And that was a couple months ago. Oh, she, did she like guns? Was she a gun fanatic? Or, what'd she have a gun for? What do you think her mom had a gun? I thought it was for protection. Yeah. But, um, barrel on that thing? It didn't look like there was a protection. Yeah. I mean, it was awful long barrel to me. Yeah. Um, but my mom didn't go to the range or anything like that. I mean, she wasn't somebody who went out firing weapons or anything like that. Yeah. So it's possible it was for protection and it was just what she could buy. Did she not use a weapon? Did she not use it? She used to be auxiliary for St. Cloud in the 70s. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. So did she like revolvers, you think? Were there revolvers she liked? Yeah. Yes, she could always ask shoot my dad with a shotgun. Oh, really? He hated it. <laughs> How, um, if your mom was to work to hide a gun, what do you think she would hide that? Um, she would have hid it somewhere in her bedroom. Okay. She would have kept it somewhere in the bedroom, somewhere that she could have gotten her hands on it. How long do you think that she, she, got, she was missing? She told me two months ago that it was missing. Two months ago, huh? I told her she needed to call and report it. Who was living with her two months ago? I was. You were? Mm -hmm. Now, did she ever have anybody over that she think would take it? If she did, she never told me. Hmm. But that wouldn't be unusual. If, if she didn't have, my mother was that person, if she wasn't, <laughs> completely positive, yeah. she wouldn't make an accusation. Oh, okay. Yeah, she, that seems pretty nice. My mother was a wonderful Christian woman. That sounds a lot like my mom. Um, that, that gun, if you had to guess what size caliber, what, how big it was, what do you think? Um, I know it was um, a revolver mm -hmm. and um, Barrel. It's pretty long. About that length, of, about that long. Yeah. So I don't know exactly what caliber it was. You, the best I can do is I can tell you what a nine mil looks like. Yeah. And that's the one because I see them on television all the time. Yeah. And I know what a thirty eight looks like. Yeah. It was bigger than thirty eight. It was bigger than thirty eight. What color was it? Was it chrome, silver, black? It had a black handle and it was um, chrome. It's not chrome. Yeah, the, the long head, yeah, because it was, the one I hit was chrome with brown. Okay. But um, it was just a little, little thing. Okay. This one had a, the, a black candle, I remember that. And a couple of months ago she told me that, she came in, she said, Amy, um, my gun is missing, and I just looked at her. And I said, your gun is missing? She said, yeah, the, what, the long one, and I went, Okay, what do you mean it's missing? And she said, it's missing. And I said, did you call the sheriff department? Mm -hmm. And she said, no. I said, mom, if it's missing and it gets used, it comes back to you. Mm -hmm. And 
she just kind of walked away. And she never called? Mm, not that I'm aware of. Yeah. I, I had two thoughts. One, she got it from somebody and it wasn't registered to her. Uh -huh. Two, um, she did call and just came tell me. Uh -huh. I mean, those were my two thoughts. She either didn't call or she did call. If she didn't call, it was because it wasn't registered to her. Did she ever own any of her own weapons? I believe that 38 was registered to her. Not to you? No, to me? Yeah. No. 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 I grew up around guns. I don't need to have one. Did you ever do any hunting and stuff? I don't hunt. Oh, you don't hunt? Okay. I don't believe in killing animals. Uh -huh. Except for snakes. That's alright. They're reptiles. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's well, you had right. one stare you right at you and your the tongue almost touch you, and you already get afraid of them, your fear factor goes up quite a bit, mm -hmm. um, killing them doesn't seem like such a bad thing. Mm -hmm. But anything else, I will hurt you if you hit an animal or, you know, you know that type of, I'm, I'm, I'm very big about animal rights. Yes. That's good. Human rights, animal rights, I'm, I'm just, that's just, you don't hit a woman. A woman doesn't hit a man. You don't hit an animal. You don't mistreat. You don't try to mistreat children. I mean, that's that's how I was raised. That's how I am. And that's the reason I'm trying been trying to find out and figure out what or how I can give y'all something to prove that to stop you where you don't have to you stop looking at me. And maybe you know move on to somebody else or a different direction. And I don't know. I can't think of what I can do. What what comes in here? So I don't know what the other detectives talked to you about. What did they tell you about your mother? They told me that. Um, she was buried in the backyard with um, fresh dirt over her and fake flowers. And she was rash wrapped in trash bags. Did to tell you anything else she was wrapped in? And all I thought about was after my sister left Sunday about I guess a little twelve thirty or a little after, I stepped out on the back porch and smoked a cigarette. And I never knew she was there. When well, was that Sunday? Mm -hmm. I was standing there smoking a cigarette. And I never knew she was in the backyard. All by herself. Did you never notice those flower beds? Um. Which one? There's one that she plants the tomatoes in, and then there's the other one that she has the aloe plants, and she had fake plants there, but she had those there all year long. Oh, she put fake plants there? Mm -hmm. She always put fake plants there? Mm -hmm. Why does she do fake plants for? Because of the um, air vent from the um, dryer. Mm -hmm. It's, um, she has to keep it covered because it doesn't have a cover on it, mm -hmm. and it killed the plants anytime she's planted them there. So she just, about three years ago, started putting fake plants there so that way she didn't have to worry about it. Then on the other side, 
is the it, it's a smaller one, but it's um, uh, that's where she normally paints the um, peppers and the tomato plants. But there's nothing planted there. Hmm. There, it's it, it it's an empty one right now. So when they said the fake plants, I there's only one place in the backyard that there's fake plants. Did you ever help her plant the fake plants? I've helped remove her, and, you know, and rearrange them and you know, pick different ones to put there, but uh -huh. that's about it. You ever help her dig and shovel and plant new ones? I mean, I helped her with the shovel, um, dig or kill snakes. Um, uh -huh. But, um, and then, you know, just kind of rearrange the dirt with the shovel and just put new plant, new, you know, rearrange the flowers or change them. And I would stand back and look at them or she would stand back and look at them. But we haven't done that in uh, September. Um, the last time we did it was in, um, July. In July. Yeah. July. How long have you been at that house for? Uh, I moved back in five years ago. Right, five years? You've been there five years? That's a long time. Yeah. That's a long time. That's how long we've been divorced. Oh. I was supposed to get, I was supposed to be moving to Ohio, but. Oh. Um, would there be any reason? Whatsoever, that your DNA would be on the plastic bags. Um, it depends. Um, if they were big black ones, they're in the garage. I touched them. Okay. What about anything else? I mean, there's a, most of the things out in the garage, me and mom both touch. Like we move, what? We move it around. Um, blankets, um, cable, rope, um, bins, mm -hmm. um, the televisions, Tupperware. Everything. Uh, coolers, uh, suitcases. I mean, yeah, we... we because we shift and move things all around. We both do it. Yeah. So, I mean, her and I, DNA, and Judy and Morgan's are probably it, it, there too. So, because we're always shifting things around and moving the stuff. Yeah. I mean, you know, if I get a suitcase down for her or she'll get a suitcase down for me or, um, you know, getting a trash bag or grab a roll of the trash bags and, you know, mm -hmm. and then if we don't need them, just stuff them back in the box. Um, I gotcha. Just, I mean, you know, stuff like that. Um, where, where, what, what kind of cable are you talking about? You mentioned cable, you move cables around also? Um, over on the, um, shelves, mm -hmm. there are, um, we got jars of different things, and we were switching cables to the TVs, mm -hmm. and um, we took one of the, I took the white cable yeah. off of her TV because it was too long, mm -hmm. and she doesn't like a lot of the wires, oh, yeah. and so we put a new one on it, and I took it and put it out in the garage, mm -hmm. um, but she helped me, you know, to put it together. Mm -hmm. Um, and I just put it up on the, I see it would be the one, two, the second shelf, mm -hmm. uh, by the garage door kind of in, or maybe it was the third shelf, mm -hmm. um, cause there's a little black cable one that's on the shelf also, but okay. I don't know if it's the second or third one, but it's closest to the garage door, I remember that part. 
Um, so, um, that's that's the cable I was talking about. Well, she, what about sheets? He said sheets. What kind of sheets do you move around in the garage? Blankets. The blankets we use to wrap the oh, blankets. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do we have blankets, certain blankets that we use to wrap the pump during the winter time? The pump. Yeah, it's outside and it's kind of got a, uh, it's got a block house around it. Yeah. Um, and we use um, two blankets and light that we put in there to okay. keep it from the water from freezing, you know, the pipes from freezing. Oh, is that the well? Is that mm -hmm. well or something? Yeah. But it's got, it's over off to the, it's not next to the house, it's off to the side. It's got its own little okay. house around it. Now, these blankets, they keep them in the garage all the time, is that what you do? Mm -hmm. Now, what kind of blankets are they? Uh, one is a kind of like a, a well, I call it a, a, a scratchy pink with a kind of like a satin, um, you know, around mm -hmm. it. It's got paint all over it. Mm -hmm. um, another one is, was mine when I was really young. It's mm -hmm. pink with um, a little, a character, two characters or mm -hmm. something like that on it. And it's got uh, the lamp actually almost cut it on fire one year. Mm -hmm. um, we got it too close. Mm -hmm. um, and that's out in the garage. That's in the garage. Mm -hmm. What color is that one? It's uh, pink and uh, one side pink. it's just solid pink, mm -hmm. like a light pink. Mm -hmm. And on the other side, it's pink that has uh, little pictures. Uh, I think there's like green on it or something. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not exact. I haven't. Really, I saw it the other day. I got you. So when I went when I went out, I went out there to get something, and I saw it the other day, and I had to move it. So there's no reason I remember. And that's how I remember seeing that other pink one because it's kind of like it's like right below it. Mm -hmm. So so I mean they're like we keep them kind of stacked together. But and when we when when where when would you have moved rope around? When I was doing moving the cable. Oh, okay. Yeah, we keep them all in the same area. Okay. And um, you guys got like a lot of twine or stuff like that, or you have any twine or anything like that? Mm, you mean like the really thin, thin, thin? Yeah. And no, I don't. I, well, no, yeah, there is them on the shelf. Yeah, there's some, I think there's some on the shelf. I think it's twine. I didn't really pay that much attention to it. But I think there's some twine out there. Is it like fishing line? Uh, it could be fishing line or it could be um, uh, weed eater line. Oh, yeah, I got you. So, I mean, I don't know which one, but it could be one of the two. Okay. So, I, I, I don't know. But as for skinny twine, do you ever remember seeing any twine anywhere? Um, really skinny twine. Yeah. Um, I think there is some out there, but the only thing that I really remember seeing is like a frayed um, brown, kind of like a scratchy rope. Okay. And I only remember that is because she had me, we had that, we use it to wrap the, um, when we do the pump, we take and tie that around there to keep it in place, uh -huh. and then set the light down there. Okay. That's what we use for that. I gotcha. But it's really scratchy. Uh -huh. um, we're in the garage, that 38, if it's still there, is it still be on the shelf somewhere? I'm trying to imagine. It's okay. No, it's not on a shelf. It's in a bin. Mm -hmm. um, It's in one of the bins um, on the, it's not on a shelf, it's on the, on the floor. Um, and unless she moved it around, mm -hmm. um, I think it's like in the, first or second bin? I think, I'm not exactly sure. I know it's in one of those bins out there. If I work correctly. 
Yeah, I mean, if I went out there, I could. I mean, I would know exactly which one it was. That's definitely you move that one. You moved that gun, right? You're the one who hit that gun? I hit that gun. Okay. And I did that um, back before I moved out in um, a long time ago, uh, back when, um, um, back in 98. Oh, so it's been there for a long time. Yeah. So if we did a test on that one the last time it was fired, it would be a long time ago. Should be. Should be. Unless mom found it. You think she possibly could have shot it or put it back in the same spot? Mm. Okay, no. Uh, hmm. no. I can't see that happening. Yeah. What about and other the missing gun? Any clues your mom ever bring it up and say, hey, it might like maybe she got rid of it or gave it to somebody to share with you, anything like that? All she told me was that she came in, she said, We're in trouble, the gun's missing. I told her she needed to call the sheriff department. Uh -huh. She just kind of looked at me and walked off. She never said whether she did or not, and I, I didn't ask. Again, it's not my personal. Yeah. I mean, I did make the comment, you know, if something happens, it's going to go back to your mom. Yeah. So, whether she did or not, I didn't ask because it, it meant that if she didn't, I knew that it was a gun that wasn't registered to her. Mm -hmm. And if she did, then you guys would mount the house. Mm -hmm. That's the reason I didn't ask her. That way she didn't have to tell me. But that's just how I am. I said we, I say we swabbed your arm, your hand, mm -hmm. and we did find residue on it. Would there be any particular reason why you had residue on your hand for? No. No? No. Okay. I just have to ask. I know, but no. No, okay. Um, and your room is the far room, right? The far? Is it the one all the way down, right? On the left? Yeah, if you go in, it's the one towards, it's in the front of the house, purple. Okay. Yeah. And the other room that's there is on the right? That's her TV room. That's her TV room. Mm -hmm. So she hangs out, that's her, does she hang out in there ever? Is that where she likes to sit and stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, does she like watching shows and stuff like that? Oh, yeah. She was like a lot of notes and she was taking, like I know she took notes for everything. She well, likes uh, Dr. Charles Stanley, so she takes a lot of notes on the um, his sermons and mm -hmm. she has another one that she likes to watch and um, she loves Paula Dean mm -hmm. at the cooking shows, yeah. so she takes a lot of notes on those mm -hmm. things, yeah. So, so if you think... Someone's NCIS. Oh, NCIS, yeah. That's NCIS, awesome. NCIS, Los Angeles, and NCIS, New Orleans. Yeah. And that. Hawaii Five-O. Really? Love Steve. No, I can't back. She loves Dave Lee. No, mm -hmm. I, no, no, I'm sorry. We just recently, we had this conversation. I love Steve McGarrett. She likes Chin Ho. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Not funny, but yeah. <sighs> it's amazing, the conversation I just remember. Anyways, yeah. go ahead. All right, I gotta get back because I'm thinking about Hawaii Five over right now. You don't have DVR? <laughs> no, I don't actually. Um, okay. Yeah, so she took a lot of notes. Um, she's like real organized with a lot of stuff too. I noticed. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Very organized. Yeah, very very organized. Mm -hmm. And. Um, did you always get along with your mom, or did you ever have times when you had problems? No, always got along with her. You always got along with her? Mm -hmm. um. The worst thing I always, and, and I did it twice, and, and to this day, if I had a time machine, I would go back and change it. I disappointed her twice, and I wish that's the last person in the world that I would have ever wanted to disappoint. I don't know what those disappointments. My ex-husband. Mm -hmm. She told me not to marry him, and I did. Mm -hmm. And uh, back in 2010, I had a substance abuse problem. Okay. But she was the one who helped me and got me through it, and I was very grateful for that. Mm -hmm. But I still wish I could go back and never have that problem. 
Well, I don't want to get into your whole substance abuse stuff because I don't want to bring up bad memories if I don't have to. But did the other detectives talk to you about a substance abuse problem at all? They asked me if I had a substance abuse problem, and I told them back in 2010. Yeah. They asked me if I still had one, and I told them no. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't even drink alcohol. Yeah. It's hard, though. It's hard. It's hard fighting, fighting the urge when you have a problem, though, you know? And not only that, it's hard to admit having a problem, you know? It's for me. And it's not against this. No, for me it wasn't. It, as a matter of fact, um, any time I can help somebody, yeah. I, I, I have absolutely no problem talking about it. I understand. But you know, it's not against the law to have a social abuse program. I know. Or, or a problem. And we also, I do have a misdemeanor because of it. <laughs> but we also, we also, <laughs> we do also offer programs and stuff, you know, for that. Right. that and, and they're actually, they've been proved and they've got pretty decent ones. So if there's any reason you're worried about telling us about one, you know, we oh, can do abs we can no, absolutely not. Um, okay. I, I mean, I know mine was um, the Larica, and um, I don't I, know what that is. It's uh, for um, it's FDA approved. It's for fibromyalgia and um, convulsions yeah. and epilepsy. And um, the doctor that I was going to at the time had me taking three times the amount milligrams that yeah. the pharmaceutical company recommended and this reason the judge I had doc, I had judge O'Brien okay um, I spent 22 days in jail got my bail hearing and then I spent almost a, a year on house arrest and judge O'Brien had had enough with the prosecution because they kept changing prosecutors mm -hmm. so when my court case came up she told him to make a deal dropped it down to the DUI and um, gave me a hundred hours of community service which I did at the pound um, I had to go to um, victims awareness class and a DUI class, which was kind of funny because everybody in there, they when they would ask what their blood alcohol was, they would tell them in yeah zero. Yeah. There was another guy in there for pot and zero. Yeah. Um, of course, the one guy that came in and ate that little stick that you have to put on your tongue and it turns green. You've been drinking. When he breathed on it and it turned greener than the Incredible Hulk, without it even touching his tongue, mm -hmm. it, Eight o'clock in the morning. Um, we, when he left, we all just kind of went. Are mm -hmm. you kidding me? But you know, he, the guy up there, he was great. Um, I learned a lot. As a matter of fact, my mom ended up getting irritated because when she would, like, when she would leave you drive, I would be, you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to. Do that. <laughs> but it changed my driving habits. Yeah. So in the long run, I mean, I benefited greatly. I mean, I wish I would have never had the problem, but in the long run, I did. I benefited greatly because I learned a lot about myself, I learned a lot about others, and I learned a lot about what could happen. Oh, yeah. So, um, the new doctor I have, mm -hmm. I love her um, because she is a um, diet, exercise, the vitamins person. Mm -hmm. um, the prescription, which is this one is for my heart and this one is for my blood pressure. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it's... I but need some of those, let me see. The <laughs> blood pressure? <laughs> All right, go on. Well, this is only five, the, I take it twice a day, but it's five milligrams a urea, or no, once a day. This one's oh. twice a day. This is actually, what time is it, by the way? I don't know. I don't have a watch on me. I don't have I any don't, phones on me. Okay. Well, you got to take one some? At, at 630, I have to take Okay. Then, um, but anyways, um, it's, um, it, this is the last resort, and when she comes in, it, like uh, this one, she came in with um, three, this one plus three other type of heart medications, okay. paperwork, to go over it with you. What, that's good. What, so that's different, right? She exactly. So, on, so. And once the two of y'all agree, mm -hmm. then she'll write the prescription. And fortunately, um, I was at 157 whenever I started having to take this this I'll always I've had to take since I was well not this one is per se but um, I've always had heart conditions since I was about 15 um, but this one I'm excited to say because I was 157 once I started going to my divorce yeah. and um, I'm able to drop that weight and I've got it down to a point to where my blood pressure is um, she is looking at taking me off of this okay. and also my cholesterol medication so that will be two less ones I have to take and I'm very excited about that all because I lost, and, and I lost weight yeah. so you know. No, do, do, no, I say this, do the 
medications you take ever affect or alter your, the way you think and your mind thoughts? Yeah. Do you ever get extremely angry? Is that why you have blood, with your blood pressure and everything? Oh, no. My blood pressure was because of my weight. Okay, okay. Yeah. And so never... Um, um, this, you could, uh, nanospring would do no. more. All this does is keep my heart at between 60 and 70. Okay. Now, when you're on your, when you got addicted to, what's the name of it? Larrikin. Larrikin. What kind of, what kind of medication? What is that? Is it, a, is it an opiate or is it a? Oh. It is a, a controlled substance, and it's for like epilepsy. No, it's for ep it, it's uh, it, for epilepsy. It nerve. Oh, okay. So it But relax. it can alter your your mind status. Oh, you can. It so can, how, it how, can. So how would it affect you, do you think, when you, whenever you're on it? When I was taking it, I don't take it anymore. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Um, I take gabapentin. Yeah. And gabapentin is like taking a nap. Yeah. Um, but um, the Larica, if you, I was taking it four times a day. Of course, I was taking 800 milligrams yeah. four times a day, which is way too much. Um, it, um, you got a extremely nice high. And yeah. if you took more than four, you could be in la la land and not even care. Yeah. It'd be like drinking 24 beers. Yeah. And you could take eight of those and feel like that. Yeah. Um, I could take 12 of them and walk normal. Oh, really? Yeah. Did you ever lose a memory or anything like that? Yeah. Yeah. It was, I, I wrecked a car. Oh. Fortunately, nobody, it was just me and the car. But, um, yeah, it was, it was because I was driving and it will, yeah, I just, I fell asleep. Oh. You, I mean, you, and it does that. Um, when I went to, started going to this new doctor, um, she looked at everything and she, she was the one who told me a lot about the, the, I was taking way too much and told me I could put me on gabapentin but it, because of the withdrawals she started me off at 600 milligrams and then I asked her if I could go down to 400 milligrams and then we went down to 300 milligrams and then I um, asked if I could go down to two and two didn't work so we remained at three okay. and it's been great That's good. so um, you know and my mother was a huge part of it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to go back to it mm -hmm. because of what's happened. Mm -hmm. Because that would dishonor her. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't be alive if it wasn't for my mother. I would have been dead five, six years ago if it hadn't been for my mother. So, there is no way I would go back to something like that because I would just completely dishonor her. And I'm not going to do that. I'm not, I'm not. I would never do anything to dishonor my mother. Well, how are you with drinks? Do you want some water or something? I um, do need a water because at 6.30 I'm supposed to take It might be around 6.30 now, so you might have to take some of those. I have to take them, um, this one, at 6.30. Okay. Let me get you some water, okay? Thank Hold you. tight. It's my card. I don't think I've cracked all my water out. What's that? <laughs> I said I've cried so much. I don't think I've more water left.
some good swim water. I'll be right back. I was like looking for a cup everywhere. Hold on, we got some bottled water. Do you want to do that gunshot residue? Let me ask. Let me see, because if there's a, okay. let me see who's here. If there's a forensics or somebody here.
Excuse me?
Hey, we got somebody coming up to take you to the bathroom. We just can't do it ourselves. I know you need okay, to Okay, so like someone there, there's someone that's going to be a minute, so. It, are you able to step in? Can I ask you a couple questions? Oh, okay. Oh. Um, uh, do you know if I'm going to be leaving here tonight? I'm not sure yet. Okay. Um, it's not my case. I know. All right. Uh, I have to get with the other detectives and find out exactly what's going on. Um, but uh, to be honest with you, I don't know yet. So. Um, if I do, am I going to be able to go back to my house or am I going to have to go back to my dad's? You can't go back to your house, not yet. Okay. Um, is there, it, I, the reason I'm asking is I have a prescription I was supposed to pick up today and I can't do it without my purse. Okay. I need a change of clothes. Okay. Um, I mean, there's just certain things I need. I need stuff for my dentures because okay. I, I don't, I, I've had them in and they're starting to rub me raw. Okay, I gotcha. You know, it, yeah. I mean, this is, it, it, it hurts really bad. Okay. But I've already missed one medication because I wasn't able to pick it up today. Okay. And, but I can't do that without my purse. Okay. And of course I need my toiletries and clothes. Okay. Um, I'll talk to, I'll find out for you. If, okay. you, if you wouldn't mind. Yeah. I mean, so the bathroom's coming up. Okay, if you bathroom can hold it first. Up the bathroom first and yeah. then the residue thing. Um, yeah. But in, um, Yeah, cigarettes with you. Well, let's see. Let's see what happens. When we have to wait for the female deputy to get here, okay. and then uh, let's see what we can do for you. Okay. All right. Bathroom is uh, or cigarette, and then bathroom, and <laughs> then the, the rest of you. Okay. Let me find out what's going on. Okay. And if you would please. Okay. Thank you so much. No problem.
Okay, ready to go pee? Yes.
gospel if I sing outside and smoke and warmed up? I am turning purple. Yeah, sorry. Is there a Just, uh, uh, Let's see what I can find for you, but. Okay, I'll be right back. Right. Do, do you have a longer? Yeah, it's going to be like an old 10 more, 10 more minutes. Alright? And then what? I'll be right back. Oh. Best I can give is this. Okay. Um, and do I'll be right back, right?
the Amy question real quick again. Try to answer this question for me. How do you, how do you make your your income? Um, I do as needed paralegal. As needed par paralegal. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how does that work? If they need me, they call me. Are you like in some kind of agency that they got your contact number or? Do you reach out to companies, or how does that work? Uh, Hanson and Associates, they call me if they've got somebody here, and they say, are you available? And if I say yes, then they say, can you go meet this person? But it's Do they not, pay you by the hour? Do they pay you by salary? Do they pay no, you they, by, they pay by me, job, by day? How, how do they do it? They pay me by hour, and uh, however long it takes to do a job. So you're approximately like how much you make on a monthly basis, approximately. If I only That's have steady, if I only have one client, um, depending on how long it takes, I can make anywhere from nine hundred to um, fifteen hundred dollars. That's why then on a job or the whole month. For the month. For the month. Mm -hmm. So how long how long you been doing this this prior legal stuff like that? I working for about a year. About a year. A little over a year. So. Is there on a yearly basis, like how much you made, how much your annual income last year? Um, last year would have been... Um, it's approximately like a, a ballpark. Eighteen, nineteen thousand. Eighteen, nineteen thousand. 19000 Okay. Right. And they pay you uh, under the table, they pay you by check, deduct taxes, how, how, how does that work? They sometimes, they use, send me um, a check, a check, but they don't, I mean, I'm not, gotcha. I wasn't okay. considered an employee, so they didn't take taxes out. Gotcha, okay. Um, yeah. You know, so. All right, no problem. All right, appreciate it. Thank you. Mm -hmm.
the delay, Amy. Uh, time is 10.52 p.m. Time is September. The day is September 24, 2015. We're going to be concluding the, the video.